Good morning, good evening, good afternoon from wherever you are in the world. My name is Sai Jay. I am joined by the wonderful duo of Gavin NBD and Joker Sleeps here to commentate uh, round three of the 2023 Pokemon Let's Go Any Percent No Mount Skips Tournament. Uh, this is the lower bracket, uh, race number two. Uh, we'll, racers today are going to be Wave Warrior uh, with a PB of a 301.28. Uh, Aspect, uh, a 301.42, and uh, Crisis Saurus, PB of a 309.35. Uh, this is going to be a pretty close race. Uh, we think this one can go uh, any, pretty much any direction here between Wave, Aspect, and Crisis. So, uh, guys, what are, what are your thoughts here? Uh, who, who's your money on for these uh, in this race? Well, I was most hyped about this race when the draws came by. Um, I think Crisis is going to have to have level up, level up a lot because I think Aspect and Wave are not people. People are not expecting them to already be in the lower bracket. I think they were still thinking they'd be upper. So tough, yeah, tough climb for Crisis. Surprise when Aspect fell to the lower bracket uh, last round. Yeah, yeah. I still can't believe that this is a lower bracket race because it feels just like an upper bracket one and. Um, all three of these runners are capable of putting up insane times. So um, I know Aspect has been on some hot runs lately, so I uh, might be, you know, a slight favorite for me, but really wouldn't be surprised however this, you know, one, two, three turns out. Definitely. We do see we do have a triple feature of Pikachu today, so no Eevee. Uh, That's because it's the worst one. That's just... Okay. <laughs> Started it off already. Not even starting the run yet. Race hasn't even started yet. And we're kid we're going there. Yeah. I mean we've had we'll plenty be of seeing a lot of Eevee, uh again unless the catch route goes uh, uh downhill. Uh, we need to get Flary on. Uh hopefully that won't happen though. So all three of our runners uh starting off. Two male, one female, Pikachu. <laughs> okay, I bet you they're all- are we just gonna get the all-boy run? This way? Ooh, I, I don't know. I don't know. This, is the, this is the first big uh, important choice of the run, is which character uh, do you pick? Uh, we all know girl, girl 2 or girl 3 are the best ones. So, Aspect last time picked boy 1 because the commentators were like, Oh, they're all gonna pick girls, and then Aspect was like, despite the commentators, I'm gonna pick boy one. Well, still picks it. Wave picked the girl, so... so Aspect picking uh, boy one, Crisis picking boy one, mm. Wave being the only difference picking uh, girl one. And, uh, all of our rivals, uh, I believe actually Crisis named their rival question mark. Yep, question mark. Doesn't change anything for the run for anybody new. Uh, doesn't matter which character you play as. Doesn't change anything. It's not like some Pokemon speed runs where uh, your starting character does change certain things, but uh, this one does not actually, matter. Actually, a manip for Surge's cans. <laughs> Very true. That's why Rapidash mm -hmm. didn't spawn for me. I didn't pick Girl Three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the hardest menu in the game. Tell me I'm wrong. I do yeah. not know why Game Freak thought doing this menu with a singular Joy-Con was a good idea. It's terrible. <laughs> All of our runners getting through the opening menu uh, pretty well. <clears throat> okay, will they be 27 CP or 26? No, oh, yeah, yeah so that actually version, matters. Uh, <laughs> does have oh. like, a slight difference from Eevee here. Um, Eevee I always uh, forget. Eevee will always be the same. Uh, but Pikachu, uh, if it has, I believe it's 27 CP, it is neutral nature, and 26 is any other nature. Something like that. 27, you know that you can't have minus attack. Which is all that matters. <laughs> yeah, before the race started, all of the racers were... Uh, very worried of getting that minus attack Pika. Yeah. Um, the answer to getting minus attack is just get super lucky, which obviously happens every time for every runner. Yeah, Pika, 
In, in EV version, uh, minus attack isn't super bad. You just have to kind of overlevel yourself and catch glowing things and try to stay a little bit above. But for Pikachu, uh, as we'll see a little bit later in the run, Pikachu actually using a lot more physical attacks than EV. So okay, I saw Wave was twenty. Okay, they're both twenty six. I think all twenty sixes. I did not see what Christ what Crisis is. And Crisis is definitely twenty six. Yeah. Okay, then they're all twenty six because I'm sure I'll wave an aspect. Okay, so so they could have my attack, uh, my special attack, especially if you're using um, the new Rhyhorn strats in Hideout. My special attack like doesn't really matter at all. You probably just lose one turn on Jesse James in Pokemon Tower, and that's it. But I wonder if these if these races will check or just go. Yeah, another big difference with Pika and Eevee is that uh, in Eevee version, you have to wait until the first fight in the forest uh, to see your stats on level up. Pikachu does not have that problem. You will see our stats um, as soon as we fight Ronnie over on Route 1, who uh, just has a Rattata. Yeah, the reason for that is because the rival's Eevee gives one more experience than the rival's Pikachu. Um, so it's that one experience points difference. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Also kind of sad for Eevee runners. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Our resets are longer. Also, because you, you don't really want my speed and EV, you have more. Oh, they're checking. Our runners are checking. I, I did not see. Modest for Wave Warrior. Both runners Ooh. going to a backup file. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Aspect had timid there, which I think is probably the worst nature you wow, could get. Both getting minus attack. Oh, Aspect not connecting as quick as me. Yeah. So going to a backup file is about a 45 second time loss. Um, just it does take a very long time to kind of load into this game. You said you know, modest. Slowly scrolls. <laughs> Pikachu says hi. Hey, we now got girl characters. This girl three. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> that girl three time. <laughs> so the backups are neutral nature. Um So I think I think after last round aspect is is like traumatized for minus attack. Um yeah, again, minus attack very, very hindering on Pikachu version. Um, Eevee, you can kind of fight through it, but Pikachu... Well, you can Eevee. fight through it on Pikachu. You just need, uh, like, Chansey and not Moon. Yeah. Or Cofable. Because then it's fine. You kind of need to do almost the same strat in Eevee, where it's just catch everything glowing and just over-level yourself very high. Yeah, and you might rely on your grass partner, whether it's, you know, here being no, Oddish. You're just kind of sneaking between those two oddishes there. <laughs> now, Crisis uh, about to start the first rival fight. Um, did not see if Crisis got uh, their Pikachu stuck uh, below the ledge. Uh, Aspect actually pulling that off. Yeah, I don't believe he did, which is not a good sign for the run. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's important for an RNG manipulation we'll do later. I never try. I've never tried to get it stuck. I just, what is Crisis' nature? Okay, so we can tell if it's plus defense if it takes four damage from these tackles from Eevee. <clears throat> you don't want plus defense because plus defense really doesn't help, and that just means you'd be a minus attack. So it always sucks to see. <laughs> What's... Oh, okay. So it is neutral defense or minus. I mean, can we tell anything from this Thundershock damage, or is this pretty much always going to be a four shot? Um, so if it's plus special attack, you can three, and if you three shot it, then you're probably plus special attack. Oh. But that was a four shot, so we still don't know. We'll find out it's uh, the first level up. We can kind of get an idea. Uh, level nine, we will learn uh, double kick, and we'll get the confirmation. Uh, we'll get the confirmation of the stats if I'm not bad. 
<laughs> the, the, so the level 6 stats are 16, 12, 15, 14, 21 for attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. So if you see a differing number, whether it's higher or lower than those, then you can tell if it's what right, the plus so nature is and then what the, what the minus nature is. <clears throat> In my first two races, I hit mods on this, on this uh, route, and it sucks. I just catch them because they're like guaranteed catches because of that catch bonus thing we learned about. But mm -hmm. I just feel bad because it's like not much XP, and you just can't catch a lot of things too. too. Really, uh, well, at least eradicate's easier. Rat. At least it, getting hit by Oddish is the worst because you just have to run from it. Because yeah, you, you can't really take it that level. Really uh, Crisis uh, about to get the level up here. Okay, let's see what it is. Seventeen attack. The only so, I so it's I think it's plus special or, or minus. I think it was plus attack, and then might be minus special. It was something. Yeah, I figured you had it under control, so it wasn't looking as carefully. But <laughs> I saw so I saw a seventeen attack, which would be yeah. It's either a plus Aspect special attack, like adamant. Yeah, it looked like my special attack to me. So I think I think it's adamant, which I'll take a hundred percent because you you could just use the Rhyhorn strats. Um. Yeah, you think it would have been like Thunderbolt. Uh, Pikachu would uh, like to have high special attack, but uh, mostly you're going to be using uh, Zippy Zap for a majority of the run. Uh, Wave Warrior taking the long way around the grass there. Aspect just going to cut through it. Uh, not going to worry about that rat that's there. Yeah, was that the Adam and Pikachu? No the the anyone. the AV went into HP, which is why I was thrown off. <clears throat> no one's gonna get screwed by the Evil and Pidgey because we're all still gonna one shot it. Although, actually, because Adamant, I think this Pidgey's a range, like a 15, 16 range. I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little scary. <laughs> nah, he never missed 15, 16 ranges. Right, Etchy? No, right, Etchy? <laughs> <laughs> Someone please phone in Etchy and ask, ask it for me. See, easy. <clears throat> the range? Yeah, never in doubt. Um, and now... Aspects. Well, pretty much everybody will be heading to pick up the lure and get into the catching section uh, right after they finish up with Jocelyn. So, Crisis being the first one there, and we'll be looking for some hopefully glowing bugs. If you haven't seen this run before, um, every gym has a requirement to enter and challenge the gym leader. Uh, our first gym requirement is going to be Brock, which requires us to have a grass or a water type in our party. Um, but this entire speedrun is based around Koga's requirement, uh, which requires us to have 50 Pokemon registered in our Pokedex. Hey, can, so, can you, so can you, can you, so, capture this run. I'm new to this game, can you please tell me what water type I could show to Brock, just by, just by finding one in the wild? Um, so, I, is, is the pond, in, that. <laughs> is the pond in Viridian still there? Because I think Goldeen spawn in there. <laughs> How do I get in the water? <laughs> uh, Listen, <laughs> a little challenging. <laughs> Just jump Burying up. the bugs, boo! Ignore that it's breaking out from Crisis' screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, uh, the... Ooh, breaking out break of the berry. The oh, break out of the berry? Yeah. Crisis is getting berry wrecked. Out. And Ooh, uh, this, uh, this wheel out. kind of given Crisis a bit of a bit of an issue. So yeah. it's like uh, burying and getting it first try. So 
um, no berry excellence is, is around like a 72% cap. So it should be getting in. Like 72% is like good. Uh, uh, with the Raz, it's like 82%. Yeah, if you see a bug that's glowing and you see a bug that's not glowing, you should catch the not glowing one. Like always see... go for the glowing one. No, no, always go for the not glowing one first if if you're one C. Because you get a multiplier for two controllers. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You want so you wanna use the you wanna get the glowing bonus on with the two controller catch and not the one controller. The multiplier obviously, is so much better. Yeah, obviously if like you see the same same bug species, you just catch the glowing one. But if you see one uh, one like one weedle and one caterpie, and one's glowing and one's not, you catch the unglowing bug first, and then yep. you catch the glowing bug first. For better yeah, there's a lot of like bonuses for catching Pokemon in this game, like first ball, uh, two controller catch, synchronized throw. There's a bunch of like weird stuff, but uh, for the most part, we'll be catching a lot of our Pokemon uh, with two controllers. Um, not gonna use it much. Uh, well, Pikachu actually does use the two controller uh, quite often in battle. Uh, for the midsection. Uh, aspects. Uh, so even the forest uh, still needs Oddish. I believe everyone might still needs their Oddish. Yeah, I think Oddish, everyone's I doing. Wave, Wave does not have it either. No. Nope. Um, Aspect having a reset route too. Twenty percent right. chance. Uh, oh, Wave does see an Oddish. Uh, there is a glowing Aspect Pidgey also. there. Gonna be interesting if uh, Wave goes for the glowing Pidgey. I wonder if uh, regular Pidgey's fine because Oddish will still hit ten anyway with the regular Pidgey. Um, so I wonder if Aspect will go for it or not. And Crisis got first try. Mm -hmm. And also has a glowing Pidgey on his screen. Aspect has a glowing Pidgey. It's farther down though. There's a non-glowing one, like right next to him. Looks like everybody's Pika hitting level 10 just in time for Brock. Uh, so they'll be all set to double kick it away and have no issues whatsoever. As you saw, Crisis is indeed adamant. Yeah, that, that really doesn't lose time. So it's not a big yeah, deal. So now we start a big evolution chain here. Um, all the bugs are going to kind of go to their uh, first stage. Have we had have we had a bug have we had Butterfree learn the powders yet in any of these tournament races? I don't think so. I think everyone just deposits Butterfree as early as you can because I, I think it tries to learn it at least forty seven moves at level thirteen. Yeah, you don't want Butterfree. Oh, Aspect can we learn the powders in round one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to deposit Butterfree as soon as possible. It, it learns like I think it's like three moves at level thirteen. It's really awful. Yeah, Stun Spore, Sleeping Powder, and Poison Powder. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. So now we'll see if they opt to go for those rats nope. and pigeons. Are you not going for the aspect? Is the aspect is. I don't think it's the glowing one, I think it's just the regular one. Yeah, it's just the one that's next to Aspect, so... And Crisis is going for the rat. There is a Pidgey in the bottom corner. Let's see if he decides to go for it. Yeah, so level t so, um... Uh, Aspect's uh, not just missing moves. the excellent throw on that. Should still get in? Yeah. Stays in. Um, uh, so, Aspect's Oddish on this Onyx that Brock has will guarantee the range, so it'll definitely one-shot, whereas Waves, we don't know how good Waves is, so it could still one-shot, or you know, it could be two-shot. It's not guaranteed. I think Christ has one for glowing. Yeah, it looks like he was gonna get the one closer by, and then the glowing one blew up and was pretty much the same distance, so out for the glowing, and uh, we'll see if this artist should get uh, some good levels from that. 
my goal is to one day. Well, I don't play. It. Oh. Oh hey. wow, that was a wombo. That was definitely <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> has all the XP, has all the bugs. This is ten bro, ten Pokemon bro. Yep. Uh, yeah. So you, when we talk about Pokemon glowing, uh, that means it's either a large size Pokemon Got or the a small size Pokemon. Um, and then there is another classification of that called Super Size, where it's either really, really big or really, really tiny. Um, and if you happen to catch one of those, uh, there is an EXP bonus for it. Um, there's no way to tell in the overworld what the difference is, um, so you just kind of got to hope. But uh, if you do catch an oversized Pokemon, they do give quite a lot of experience. Or an undersized one. Yeah, an under undersized as well. The wave hit the... Onyx range, didn't get flinched by the headbutt, so nice two turn proc. And rock throw, so Aspect got this too. Yeah, so we mentioned, earlier, uh, we mentioned gym requirements earlier. We mentioned gym requirements earlier. Crisis already level 13 on the Pikachu. Misty's requirement is level 15. Uh, since Crisis is already 13, I'm probably not going to have a problem hitting that gym requirement, uh, Mount Moon being the next section. It'd be quite unfortunate. <laughs> probably that always see new bats. Like, literally. Because like, because, like, you can almost just get it just from battles. <laughs> almost, yeah. I think you need to catch, like, yeah. one thing if you go in at 13. A wave completing the first shop of the run. I'm gonna pick up a couple X items, uh, just some healing stuff to keep us going. Do we sell poke walls or no? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. Well, they have five hundred and fifty-two dollars left. So. Yeah, that's the new shopping that. I'm like, what is this? Um, no bonuses for Wave in the first patch of grass. There's one more patch of grass coming up where uh, we get some bonus Pokemon. That spinner pass was sketchy, but... It's a little tight, but... Uh... Yeah, trainers don't have vision when they're turning, so if you get them on a turn frame, uh, they actually can't see you when you walk in front of them, so... Um, it looks scary, scary, but... Oh, actually, that's scary. Um, you can't just Pokeball Pokeball these things. Still very likely to get in for this will guarantee you. Especially if you're going for excellence, like 93 for Mankey. Sanctuary's guaranteed if you hit an excellent. With yeah, I assume six. this one too, considering it was a level 3 Mankey. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, that's very low level. That's the lowest. So we'll not be going for Primeape uh, this run. <laughs> Barring the super size Chansey. If you don't care about XP, you just one see great. Um, Sanchu or Mankey. Uh, but if you care more about XP than two Cs. Uh, both Aspect yeah. and Wave Warrior picking up the Gift Magikarp. Uh, the game makes fun of you when you buy this for spending uh, an outrageous $500 for the Magikarp. Even though when you catch it, you're spending like 500 from a lore plus the Ultra Ball. It's already like 500. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good deal for a Magikarp, to be honest. <laughs> and it's a Magikarp with, like, goaded stats. Yeah, I don't see what the problem is. It's got, like, high 25 plus IVs in every stat. Yeah, all the gift Pokemon in this game uh, come with uh, great good IVs. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in competitive or anything like that... Uh, Gift mons here uh, can provide good IV uh, Pokemon. I think the only one good and competitive would be. Well, uh, Gyarados is seeing some player now, but uh, Porygon obviously uh, is always good. Got wrapped. They both got wrapped. The worst Ooh. move. Wrapped is uh, unfortunate here. It uh, has an extra animation for taking some damage at the end of the turn. The, the move you want is growth because uh, 
then if also if you're full health because then when you fight the sanctuary you don't get the absorb your hp is back text aspect is the butterfree prices is now shopping selling the pokeball selling Two Pokeballs, okay. Just enough to be able to purchase the Magic Carp. I don't know what he did to DV. Oh, he probably did the uh, my special attack shop. So probably headbutt, coughing, and the uh, mm. Ekans. So Wave is choosing to fight the Sanchu first. Um, so is Aspect. So this is they so they can uh, put the Pikachu in the first spot since we will be using it as like the main thing. Yeah, I usually both... Oh go ahead. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, I was just gonna say there would both be pretty early for double moonstone if they were to go before fighting this youngster so uh maybe also another reason they have to do that first yeah usually i don't do it just because i feel like especially if i have the bugs in my party like i'm gonna make another um deposit anyway so i could just teach headbutt like move pikachu slot one teach headbutt on that menu Uh, Wave Warrior has a glowing chance. Glowing chance. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that could be so much XP. Yeah, this is uh, good you do. We are all hoping Wave goes for it. Yeah, just so everyone knows, only the winner is advancing in this tournament. So, need to win to advance, so... People are gonna get uh, eliminated. I uh, wanted to catch that Geodude there, get the bug evolutions, and then uh, I think we may see a deposit here. And get the chance, yeah. Aspect get it. The um, Nugget is getting like is so guarded on Aspect's team by all the Geodudes. There's like three or four Geodudes just guarding that thing with their lives. <laughs> And while the other oh, runners wow. are sitting through the evolution, yeah, <laughs> yeah, how did that not hit? This gave us some very strange hitboxes sometimes. The crisis also choosing to fight the youngster first. That is the last Evo there for Wave, so I think we are going to find out uh, if we're going for this Chansey. Not yet. Okay. Uh, and here comes the deposit. Aspect has Paris and Clefairy on their screen, so that's nice. So they're going to get all the, moon, the standard moon catches. Here we go. This is like, what's the percentage? Oh, it's, like a, it's like a 70 something percent with Double Great and Berry. Like pretty much like a three and four to get in. Missed. Oh, Ooh. Getting robbed of an yeah. excellent throw. Ooh. I think the chancy like rocked to the left a little bit, and that's why that wasn't excellent. But it doesn't matter. Eight in. Four point three, not super sized. Still, it's fine. Yep. Yeah, still not going to have to worry about that Misty Gem requirement. Nope. Uh, wave all set for being able to enter uh, Misty's Gem. Uh, Aspect catching this Clefairy down here. Crisis also has... Cl Crisis has two Clefairies on their screen right now, actually. Yeah, if you want, you can keep throwing only, like, double pokes for Geodude. Um, but 
you want to switch to Greece for this Clefairy, and I think maybe the pairs do. So Wave would like to see Clefairy in Paris, but that's for folk count, not... Well, Wave does see a Paris. Uh, two Parises, actually. Had to go back a little. I'm lucky. Yeah, it's actually going to mess up the, uh, the spinner pass there. I don't have to go back, so you might have to wait on that hiker guy. Um, aspect checking for double Moonstone does not get it. I don't think Wave got it either. No. Oh! 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 Maybe saw how aspect it was like, I don't want that kind of stress. Uh, but yeah, as you as you've probably seen throughout the tournament, spinners can't see you as soon as they start moving. So even if it looks like they're looking at you, they just started their movement so they are they can't see you. Aspect is trying to one controller the zooms. Oh, nice Clefairy from Wave. Oh uh, glowing Clefairy actually from Wave. Oh, does not get the instant catch. He probably just threw because he's right. already 15. Or he's just always I'm getting a Paris right now. Uh, Aspect so does indeed get the Zubat. Uh, I didn't see what happened there. Uh, I may have spawned on them, so... Um, yeah, I don't think he's trying to. Go... to. Yeah. We usually don't well, catch Zubat here just because uh, you want to be able to get Golbat later. Um... I think he got greedy, or he was worried about being under level. Um, so I feel like he could have gone around it if he went above, but he tried to go below, I think. I don't That's what I think happened. Okay, don't put us to sleep. Thunder shocking first. Oh, wait, and it worked! It worked! I'm pretty sure that was a mistake. Oh, oh, Onyx spawning on Wave Warrior. Onyx is what, like a 10% in here? 1%. That's the other 1%. Oh, Clefable's the, the, the other 1%. There's two on this. Yeah, on there's the two. Uh, so Wave is gonna go for it. Double great. Raz gets nice. a knife. That's pretty good. It's not, I, I don't remember the exact odds. Um, but Moon, Moon Onyx isn't that bad. You don't want to. He's mid. Going for uh, Tunnel Onyx is like way worse. Unless you have the double ultras, but you probably want to like save those. It's not bad. If it spawns on you, it's not the worst thing, but it's, it's bad. Terrible. It's pretty terrible. Yeah, I can tell you, I can bring up all, I count so many different things with the Onyx. It's like, let's see. Tunnel Onyx, so. Great 2C, great, great, great Raz, 82.36. So that's not awful, but it It'll can work. be hard to hit. It can still hard to be hit greats. Um, on the Onyx, like, it'd be hard to hit anything. Yeah, you're kind of just so, praying for the nice. Aspect coming up to the Super Nerd, who is guarding uh, these two fossils here. Oh, wait, no, I take that back. That was the, the great, great, great Raz was the Mount Moon Onyx. So wait, Wave's a great, great, nice res was 73, or like 74%, because- Wave was unlured, too. Yeah, so it was better than odds. It was. It was 10. Oh, that's okay. pretty high level, actually. Yeah, so it'd be around, it'd be around like 75%, 76%. These, these calcs, these calcs assume uh, six IV pokes, so it will generally be like on average like two percent worse or better than what I say. But so so anyway, two two C great great nice Raz in tunnel is fifty six point four eight percent if it's lower and six ID. So that's not that's that's not that's not good odds. <laughs> oh, uh, aspect taking dome fossil. I took dome earlier today. Go dome. I just save one eighth of a frame. You get to see Helix in the cutscene later, too. Yep. <laughs> there was another Onyx over there on Wave's side. It is changed, so it is not... Yep. 
It's not uncommon. Uh, this game has some weird uh, catch mechanics where uh, you catch Pokemon and then you're on a chain for that, and then the next Pokemon that spawns is more likely to be the thing you just caught. Uh, there are some exceptions to the rule, but uh, for the most part, that's uh, how it is. Uh, Aspect, unfortunately, getting Pika poisoned here. Is that poison yet? That did I think so, yeah. Well, this even two. This is not two turning. Close. Uh, almost got the coughing there. That's so bad. You can't even heal because Oddish has to ass it. Yeah. <laughs> if only Pikachu had a spread move. Why can't we double kick and kill one and then double kick the other? Use the other kick for the other one. <laughs> Hit 15. Nice. That's a 10 16th range on Misty. We'll see what happens. This neutral Pikachu is not that good. <laughs> yeah. I expect this. This will go better for Wave. Yeah, being level 18 already should be no problem. Those will be two turns. Uh, Aspect not picking up the PP up. Got nothing. Yeah, so there is a PP up uh, in that bush there. You can sell it for about $5,000. Uh, it does help with shopping a little bit, but uh, Aspect decided to forego that. Uh, our, our main route uh, assumes you do not pick that up, so uh, can show it up in like a marathon setting, but uh, doesn't need it. And uh, Aspect coming up to the Move Tutor. So uh, on Eevee version, Eevee learns about 14 different moves, but Pikachu only gets one. Uh, that move is Zippy Zap. Uh, who wants to talk about what Zippy Zap does? Zippy Zap is the only move Pikachu needs. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Eevee needs help because it's so weak. Empathetic. Just kidding. Wow. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sandshrew. Another Mankey wave doesn't need that. No. Did yeah, Sandshrew that... did attack. It usually attacks. Zibizap, base power 50 move, uh, always crits and always goes first. Very powerful move. Uh, we do like it a lot. Much better in the release version than it is in the uh, the demo beta. Uh, the move's original effect was uh, it always goes first, but it increases your evasiveness. Oh, there's a Mankey too. Okay. Crisis actually uh, getting a lot of bonuses here. Uh, this brings Crisis up to uh, 16 catches already. Wave at 15, Aspect at 14. Fun aspect didn't miss any. Uh, actually, has an extra catch of the zoops. Yes. Uh, aspect also having to delete uh, Golbat uh, from the tracker has decided will not go uh, for the Golbat catch. Never catch Golbat. No, it's terrible. No. See if Aspect hits his range. Just get Psy Wave instead of a... Or just really hit the range. <laughs> yeah, do you know Honestly, what kind of range we're looking at? 10 16ths, I'm pretty sure is what I saw. Oh, and Ooh. got burned by the Starmie. That's fine. Just it's a piece heal. I don't think I think I'm pretty sure Aspect didn't buy burn heal, so we'll have to go to the Pokemon Center to heal. Was it 10 16? It might have been five. Anyway, it was bad. You think I would know these ranges by now, but I forget them. It's because you're on AOP. So you're always like super high level here. And not really, because we're not forced to catch 
to Fable anymore. Yeah, the the double moonstone thing makes it a lot easier. It was a five sixteen. Double moonstone you can get if you really want it. My bad. That was a five sixteenth range. So it was bad. Less than thirty three percent. Aspect forced to use the Pokemon Center here. Uh, centering is a bit slow in this game. There's like a whole animation for it. Not a great early game for Aspect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you mentioned in the chat, no glowing and no bonus sketches. No, oh, apparently it was 10 16th, apparently it was some friendship bonus. Regardless. And Aspect starting uh, the second rival fight. Uh, Wave also starting it as well. Technically the third rival fight of the game, but we skipped the second one. We should be seeing, like, Flareon, because we skipped it. Yeah, this game is a remake of Yellow. Poison Powder! Yuck! Well, man, Aspect just... The game really wants his Pikachu to be status. See what happens on Wave In. Pass it. Easy. I'd also like to uh, point out that nice status at start, lag. At the start of the run, before uh, before uh, Wave and Aspect went to their backup files, uh, Wave had a male Pikachu and Aspect had a female Pikachu. They continue to have that after going to the backup <laughs> files. Uh, yeah. So Crisis, as long as Crisis doesn't get poisoned, EV. We'll see. I don't. Wave's 18, so it should be fine. But uh, Crisis definitely has the um, coughing range. Oh, it's not even a range anymore, especially because Crisis is plus attack. This is just boring bridge. The yeah, Asperger Pika version. Uh, you just zap everything. Uh, the Sand True fight's a little interesting. Be uh, interesting to see how uh, the runners approach the Sand True fight. Well, considering Aspect is still poison, I'm assuming, right? Aspect should, I think, still poison. So Aspect will 2C um, and then heal the poison during and then absorb with the Oddish. So, we'll see if Wave. I bet you Wave will just 1C. Yeah. Let's go for the headbutt and uh, hope for flinch. Aye, flinch for crisis. <laughs> it hit oh, so man, hard. The heel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wondered about that. Ideally, there actually is instead of flinching, I just absorbs and gains a little more health, so <laughs> no potion comes out. Yeah, you know, 1C versus 2C here. <clears throat> Easy flinch. Headbutt. We have a 30% chance to flinch. Sometimes it feels like it's more. Uh, especially when the AI uses it. It'll like always flinch on the Voltorb, which is useless. <laughs> okay, let's see if, if we can take the lead with the uh, fake out and no fake out. <clears throat> oh, no fake out. Break out for Aspect. And none for Wave either. Okay. Easy. So Zippy Zap is plus two priority, so it uh, goes first on like every move except fake out in this run. Because fake out's a little bit plus three. I bet you none of them is going to go for that shit. <clears throat> Sorry. You did it on our hand? It's like... <clears throat> need to clear something on my throat. But it's not clear. Yeah. Okay, Christ is also 2C. 
Oh, both players deciding to uh, talk to the guy, talk to this uh, uh, guy who turns out to be a Team Rocket member uh, from the front. Uh, depending on uh, which direction you talk to this guy from, the battle background will actually be different. Did you, fun fact, if you lose to this guy 10 times in a row, you can join Team Rocket. We'll see if any of our players uh, go that route. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, yeah, we'll see. So Wave, I, I'm pretty sure Wave should have the, especially at 19, should have this coffee range. Aspect 1. Tackle, okay, easy. Aspect doesn't have to worry about it. <laughs> no poison, that's the important thing. Fake out for Crisis, rip. That's an Oddish, uh, that's not a Squirtle. No. Venonat Pidgey. Uh, Aspect? Oh, it uh, looked like it, they were about to go for the Venonat, but deciding not to go for the Nat. Nah, you don't go for Venonat. <clears throat> we did take the lead, because coughing could be one-shotted. Yep. Price is about to finish up the bridge here. Let's see if Crisis can get the Squirtle. Only, I believe we only seen one Squirtle the whole tournament. No, we saw so we saw Dynams, which Dynam did not catch. I was so disappointed. I know. But it was on the other side of the ledge, so it was way too far. But and then uh, yesterday we someone saw someone saw it on the way back. Oh, that's the worst when you see it on the way back. Was it Sandy? Do you know Gavin? Um, I feel like it might have been in the other race. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Sandy saw it because I commentated that one. I don't remember it. Yeah. Someone, someone saw it. I think it was yesterday. Or maybe it was the day before. It was at she's race, according to Ferris. Someone saw it on the way back. We don't know who it was. There's clips of it in the Discord, <laughs> if you want to check it out. <laughs> I can't even get the link. players uh, decide to ditch Bill. Uh, Bill has somehow turned himself into a Nidorino, uh, and we need to help him uh, change back into Bill. Nice fish. <laughs> no knock skips, I'm lucky. Crisis having to wait on the spinner there. Uh, you want to grab that Ether and Pikachu version. Uh, that uh, spinner uh, does turn and can catch you if you're not paying attention when you're going down there. Aspect retaking the lead, uh, leaving Bill's house uh, by just interesting. A, yeah, just just <laughs> a few steps. It looked like. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, maybe Aspect got like perfect cutscene skip or something. Maybe Wave accidentally said no, which takes like a fraction of a second longer. Anyway, no Squirtles for either of them. I try to see if a Squirtle pops up on Route 24 in like the top left corner of the Squirtle screen. Right there. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> yeah, so Aspect starting uh, the sequel to Detective Pikachu, Detective Pikachu 2 here. But aren't we getting Detective Pikachu 2? Oh, we are, actually. We got a trailer for it already. So this is like 1.5? Yeah, this is like the middle section of the game. This is when, uh, this is when Pikachu learned he wanted to be a detective. Well, aspects of his G, but... Yes. No one's ditching Bill, though. That's good. Alright, so oh, that, that house was, uh, destroyed by that Team Rocket guy. Um, he's... He looks pretty busy, so we're not going to bother him. Uh, we're just going to kind of keep moving. We just don't see him. We're not going yeah, to touch him. We don't, we don't want to bug that guy. He's he's busy. He's clearly had a rough day. We don't think he's responsible for... Anything. Well, if you saw the footprints in the house, you wouldn't think it was him. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
see how these my route six earlier today was garbage. Let's see how theirs are. Hopefully, it's way better. Yeah, which uh, specific spawns are we going to be looking for up here? Just Growlithe. That's, that's all we want. Just Growlithe. Just spawn yeah, the puppy. Like, backup file, the rival is named Time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Did Aspect name himself anything? I don't know, actually. I didn't see it when Aspect loaded into the file. I didn't even think to like pay attention to that. Yeah, I just noticed it when I saw the, the thing pop up. No, I was that, like I I just never planned to make it back up. So, last week did nugget on the ground, uh, and then there is a free lure here. Uh, there, the other pokeball in this uh, route, I believe, is a repel. Um, you can pick it up if you want, but not really needed. They're doing this early to like make it expire before they hit the mark. Yeah, you don't want it Up to uh, continue while you are in the mark. Shit. Bullshit. <laughs> well, so I was picking up the free rare candy on the ground. Uh, there is a Jigglypuff for Aspect, a rat. Not even getting the Jiggly. Going for Jigglypuff. Getting uh, jiggly. Maybe we'll go for that Jigglypuff instead. Wait. Yeah. Respawning. Okay. Early. Yes, did, you did Aspect tell me? We haven't seen that in the Pikachu version. There is a very specific spawn you want on this route. We were running out uh, for Aspect. Uh, I'm fairly certain Aspect told me that he would just go and not waste time resetting the route. Maybe uh, he, that was someone else. No, he did say that less than an hour ago. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I'm just going to go without it. Okay, sure, buddy. Sure. <laughs> It's not spawning for- Oh, oh it's spawning. Well, it's hiding in the corner! Wave! Hiding just off camera for Wave. That's why Toph one was hiding. Nope. Yeah, so, uh, our Pikachu runners really do want this Growlithe. Uh, it's a very good Pokémon for later on. Uh, Aspect not getting it, but does get Vermilion skin. Yeah, so what are the uh, Jigglypuff strats that Aspect is going to have to use? No, Aspect's gonna use Oddish strats instead. Okay. I don't know what they are. I mean, you could use um, Sing and just put him to sleep, so. Uh, this Psyduck just hanging out in front of this girl here. I guess Wave's uh, going for that. just gonna catch it and uh, I guess disrupt their conversation. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Crisis just walked in front of an Abra, so didn't miss out on the Abra. Rip. The Abra, if you step in front of it, it will teleport away from you. You can use the second controller to, uh... Kind of stun it. Yeah. Uh, aspect, uh, doing the second shop of the run. It's okay that Crisis didn't get excellent on Jiggly. We just throw for Jiggly because, um... Better to, uh, better to just, uh, get it in, to hit it than let it do an animation. Yeah, it's long floating animation, which takes forever. Aspect, uh, entering the, uh, SSM, uh, was the 100th visitor to... Uh, the SSN. So got the sailor outfit for that. Okay, Crisis also... Kind Trice, of, uh, Crisis, I mean, just, just hit the duck. Yeah, just, Wait, just, just go through the duck, it's fine. Uh, set oh, there's a doggo! Got the okay, growlith. got the growlith. Last second. Alright, wave, uh, also getting Vermilion Skip. Um, those two trainers are uh, kind of staring at each other. You can kind of cheese their vision just by going through them uh, down the middle. And, uh, neither of them will see you. See, some people might show these Route 6 and be like, this is why I run Eevee instead. But that shouldn't happen. <laughs> Isn't Growlithe like a pretty good spawn? 
like on this, yeah. uh, on this route. It's like twenty percent. Yeah. Yeah, just like Oddish on Route Two, it's twenty percent, so it shows up all the time. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it showed up for Crisis and Wave eventually. I, I saw that. I'm still getting Vermillion skip on the way in. Those were all really clean skips, too. Yep. Right through the middle. It doesn't matter how clean it is, though, as long as you do it. It can be the most scuffed skip ever, but as long as you skip them, it works. Now, I didn't see if our other owners sold the fossil, um, but... Aspect uh, did. I did see, I did see Crisis selling it, so... Uh, fossils are off the table uh, for this run. Well, since none of them picked up the PP up, I'm assuming they all did. Yeah. Way so I think the shop would work otherwise. Oh, the visitor of the SSM? Okay, so this is where Aspect potentially loses a turn, it's not... Not having Growlithe? It's fine, just crit. Poison powder? Might have thought acid was still there. <laughs> is that supposed to be acid? I guess it was. I don't know. Well, oh. if that was the correct move, then uh, that wouldn't have lost any turns. <laughs> That's the second time this happened, right? Because Aspect picked Thundershock and it worked out, but. It's fine. We, we can assume that if. Uh, aspect picked the right move, it wouldn't have, uh, it wouldn't have gotten there. I would say even though behind on press progress, wave is a hit. Because of four clicks. Yeah, we well, have, hopefully... uh, wave 19 caches already. Yeah, crisis with 18. Hopefully, for Aspect's sake, they get, a. Uh, Good Route 10 and Tunnel, because even if Aspect sees a Growlithe on the way back, which you still want, because um, then you can use Arcanine, you can't use it because it's not high enough level. Where's the girl three luck, huh? You're, maybe because it's back of girl three. Uh, it'll come in tunnel. We got rare char. Uh, glowing <laughs> Kangaskhan. Don't catch Kangaskhan. Don't do what I did earlier in my race. Okay, aspect luring for Growlithe. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get it. Nice Pidgeotto. Okay, I well. Get the spawn. Hey, it is running right towards the guardhouse. What a perfect. Yeah, perfect. What a what a bro. <laughs> well, okay, so this there are ranges though, because it's only level 17 growling, but hopefully it's good enough. Okay. Alright, so Aspect uh, now has the Growlithe. And also getting Vermilion Skip uh, on the way out as well. Very easy on the way out. It's easier on Persian, too. Fun fact. <laughs> uh, wave uh, setting up for the Skip. Uh, looks a little too far to the left, but there we go. Easy. Kind of started drifting, I think. <laughs> yeah. Let me see the Abra. don't have drift in them. No Abras. You wouldn't go back for these Abras, but... Yeah, seeing I an Abra there, that's real bad. 
And AOP, you just get it. You're like, I take that 30 second time loss, because I'm getting this out of her now. Uh, for wave. Can't see how this crawl is. Yeah, these upcoming fights are a little different from what we're used to on the EV version. Uh, instead of one control rig them and just knocking out everything with EV, doing some. Uh, everybody will be breaking out their Growlithe. We're just healing. And luring here. Most, I feel like, well, actually, I don't know. But some people will lure there. I know every EV runner does. Um, but some Pikachu runners will, will lure after Drew uh, because then they can also deposit Growlithe because they don't need Growlithe anymore for fights. Um, which seems that's what Aspect's doing. But Wave did it earlier. If you do it later for Drew, on, on uh, if you do it on Drew, you have to be careful because Pokemon can still spawn on the Route 10 Grass Patch. So especially with Nidoran Mail, you have to make sure it's level 24 if you hit it. Mm. And you hit, like don't see it spawn. Oh, oh wait, not getting the KO on the board. Did Aspect get it? I did not see a fast spec out there. What's the peak is health? Okay, I'm assuming that the girl got it. Ooh! Oh, oh no! That's really bad. <laughs> oh no, didn't get that range. Whatever. Yeah, taking out the growl is no big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal if the growl goes down there. Uh, additionally, after this fight, um, if anything faints here, it's not the end of the world. Uh, you do get a free heal immediately after. Oh, wait, was that on the same? Was that on the Oddish, or was that on the Pikachu? <laughs> it just got sand attacked. Okay, we'll see what Waves does. Waves didn't hit the. This is the worst range in the Bloom range. Hit it though. Quick attack. Double kick hits. Oh, and the absorb misses because of the sand attack. Oof. <laughs> Aspect is getting really. Aspect's RG is not kick kick this run. Well, girl 3 RG just not getting <laughs> off. Apparently, you don't want girl 3 as a backup. The game knows that he, he didn't pick girl 3 the first time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a chance to. <laughs> In like the worst spot to. Oh! A wave, wave not yellowing the spinner. Wave. <laughs> oh, okay, Aspect Aspect can. For the YOLO realizing uh, she was turned. Uh, Blowing so Radicate? Krabby? Krabby? Well, Krabby is something, so... i take that Glowing Radicate. Uh, does Aspect have... Aspect does have Rattata, so... Uh, Glowing Radicate's actually very good there. Aspect doesn't have Rattata. But can just catch him. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at Crisis, sorry. Uh, Aspect does not have Rat, so... Um, I still think the eradicate's correct, though. Um, it is a lot of experience. Would be nice if a male Nidoran spawns. Crabby. Yeah. Crabby. We just got the rat. Okay, this is like 90%. Don't freak out. Crisis Nidoran Nidoran female. Uh, yellow, the spinner pass. Uh, two good spawns for Crisis. Three good spawns. Okay, that's nice. 
So you saw Christ's weight. It's because, as we mentioned earlier, the chain, chaining thing. So you want everything to have like its base chance to spawn. Yeah, you don't want to like catch a spear or. Wait, this was super sized. <laughs> Twenty five Pikachu. Twenty five. Big uh, rat right there. Uh, that's pretty good. I mean, the Krabby is also only two levels away from evolving, too. Would have been nice if uh, Nidoran Mail was in the party right now. Unlucky. Wave's not doing too hot here, either. Crisis had the best ten. Hero here. I wonder if Wave will go for the uh, extra super potion that's over there. <laughs> Titterino? Okay, yep, doing. Wave? Uh, did Wave get Nidoran Man? No, did no. not. No. Wave might. Uh, going down and doing this Team Rocket fight does reset the route. Um, so we might see uh, Wave go back up just to see if Nidoran Male is there. <laughs> they might both have to go female strats. They do have uh, Nido King marked, so I think they do want... Uh... Oh, they have unmarked it, actually. They just unmarked it. So I think Wave is just going to move on. Yep. So uh, Nido Queen strats. Price is guaranteeing this, uh... Oh, missed the excellent, oh, never mind. Price has been robbed twice of, uh, good throws this, this, uh, this run. Stayed in, so... Uh, not, not, not a big deal, but... The crowd's still... Oh yeah, because... We did the... the cover. Twenty-seven Krabby. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. That'll actually free up some party space uh, for Aspect later. If he even needs it, though. A wave heading into tunnel. Uh, this is where most runs go to die. Uh, Graveler. Graveler, and I can't see what that glowing thing is there in the corner. I think it's a Geo, dude. Yeah, I believe so. Okay, the aspect is just Neo Reno. Nice jumping. Uh, Neo Reno, unfortunately, uh, kind of just being annoying and jumping around. Didn't oh, care what's about. The, what's the difference between catching Neo and Neo Reno? It doesn't have poison jet. Yeah, that's kind of a big difference. So aspect will also be doing. Need a queen stress, yeah. So many extra levels on this gloom. What level does it give uh, poison jab out? Like, is it worth a vault like leveling to? It's not worth leveling. Oh no, it's absurd. Oh okay. Uh, I didn't know if it was like uh, maybe like two, maybe three levels away. If it was like and eh, a marathon, it's fine, but. Uh, it is. It's just kind of pointless. Thirty-nine. <laughs> oh, wow. oh yeah, no. <laughs> no shot. Yeah. Nice fear. Okay, menu boxing. Yep. Aspect doing some party management. Uh, going to evolve this Nido Queen while we're at it. Interesting doing it now, I feel. The Spiro is gonna evolve soon. Um, Aspect still has two open slots in the party, so um, very likely they'll get the opportunity uh, to deposit again. I think that glowing Pokemon on Wave's side is a Geodude.
We've kind of had crisis is entering. Crisis picking up the backup greats as well. Uh, shore up the uh, ball count there since uh, Crisis missed a couple catches. Not missed as in they didn't spawn, but nice on it. I kind of have an interesting point where everybody... Oh, Wade just marked Ooh, another Pokemon. Oh, I was going to say they all had the same or... catch count. <laughs> yeah, they're all at a... Yeah. Glowing Rhyhorn for Wade. He's very... One of the most timid Rhyhorns ever. Usually they attack first. Razzing the okay one controller. Interesting. Hmm. Hey, you don't want to see that one. Oh, and a yeah. Oh my god. I'm surprised. Where's the two? Where's the second controller? Did you deposit everything? Another breakout. There it is. Okay. Aspect finally entering. Cubone, okay. Oh. Our wave healing up that Pikachu and finally evolving their Nido. Crisis did get a Nido King, uh, so we will be seeing both uh, Nido strats uh, here. Also getting him a chop. Let's see, how are runners doing on rock tunnel catches? Wave needs Machop and Kibo and Zoops. Aspect has not seen Graveler, Rhyhorn, Machop. Uh, does not need Zubat. Uh, Aspect caught it uh, in Mount Moon. Yeah. Almost wave. 25. Okay. Yeah, 25 for wave, 27 for aspect. Graveler for aspect. I hope. Oh, there's a cube. Doesn't wave need Is that Pokeball? That's Is Pokeball. That yeah. Not need Graveler. Uh, Crisis does, though. Who's gonna catch the Kangaskhan and ride it like I did? The wrong decision. Still got plenty of time for that. <laughs> I was so bad when it's fun. Oh, this. This right one on crisis is great. See, crisis doing some party management. I'm freeing up slots. Knows that Rhyhorn can give, especially since it's glowing, give a good amount of VXP. Already Kingler. <laughs> Doesn't even have a Rhyhorn, <laughs> has Kingler. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter too much what Pika's level is uh, throughout Rock Tunnel. Is there any kind of advantage Aspect might have for being slightly higher? <laughs> nope. <laughs> there it is. Oh, why is he doing this? Why is he doing this? 
Why? This is awful, awful, awful. Last this is for the memes, going for it. Oh Not even God. excellent. This is awful. No. Why? Why is Aspect doing this? Yeah, Aspect definitely needing. I got in. Um, getting the Kangaskhan. Uh, well, maybe we'll see Aspect ride it. Hopefully. Uh, Aspect <laughs> having a very rough catch rate, catch route, so uh, getting some bonus is good. Ooh, and there's a shiny on screen. One to get, but... Oh! Crisis. Uh, does Crisis already have oh, a grappler? Shiny grappler! No, Crisis does This is one that's needed, too. Doesn't even have a grappler. Actually, a useful shiny. Wow, that Grappler's a weird color. It's like copper. I don't think Aspect's catch. Like it's the shiny of the tournament. I don't think Aspect's catch round is that bad. Yeah, I didn't think it was that bad either. <laughs> it necess necessitated going for Kangaskhan, but uh, who knows, it maybe you in. inspired him. First try, but. Oh, come on. Don't deposit it. Oh, it's already deposited. Never mind. Yeah, it's already in uh, the box, unfortunately. Uh, but with, I believe, uh, with the Kangaskhan, uh, Aspect can go for quote unquote cat strats, uh, which is an Eevee exclusive strat. A little fake out champ, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can go for the fake out on champ. Oh, Wade getting uh, punished by a uh, Graveler spawn there. Um, Aspect looks to be frozen. Yeah. And Aspect's back. We're back? Aspect's back. Aspect really wants right. Yeah, Aspect does need Rhyhorn to continue. Uh, not Onyx, but uh, is going to run into it. Uh, Don't sure do it. it. That was not it. <laughs> yeah, running away from Onyx. Uh, as we said earlier, Tunnel Onyx is a trap. You don't want to catch it. He already has a ride Pokemon sitting in his box. I yeah, know. I know. Aspect also able to go for Golbat if they really want to. I don't think they want to. <laughs> Zubat. Oh, was that was that a Rhyhorn? Not sure. It's it's whatever it is. It's glowing. No, it was a Machop. I think. I'm fairly confident it's Machop. This game is really hating aspect today. Crisis, uh, barely getting through a little gauntlet of, uh, wild Pokemon there. Yeah, Crisis only passed the second trainer in Rock Tunnel, but already at 33. Uh, Wave Warrior about to start, uh, Rival 3? Or Rival 4, sorry. Boat Rival fight was very quick, so... Forgot it existed. I know the run's still super early, but I kind of feel like this is just waves to lose at this point. <laughs> Even though we have a long way to go. Oh, there is a Rhyhorn! No berry, excellent throw uh, for Aspect. It's like 80 something percent. Should get it. The Kangoo is not deposited, the Kangoo is always in the box. The yeah, Aspect will uh, ride it into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Damn it, I should have done that! Dang it! I'm hoping I'm hoping everyone takes takes the cue from me and uh, if you get a shiny, put it in the Hall of Fame. There's no reason not to. 
No, no, you should grind it on before. <laughs> <laughs> grind it. Yeah, go to the GDQ run. Exactly. Send it to the professor right before champion. <laughs> T-Pat would like to know why you didn't catch the Vile Plume. Oh, yeah. Because I needed two Pokemon, and I'm not <laughs> going to catch the Vile Plume and the Magmar. I'm just going to catch a Tentacle and evolve it. Didn't you catch the Raticate? Yeah, Raticate's easier. You know what would have solved that problem, Joker? What? If you played Eevee version, you could get Ninetales. Nah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Very easy to manipulate catch count. Hey, don't worry. I only caught Kenny's con because I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, rare char. Aspect is rare char. This this rock tunnel has it all. Use the ultra ball aspect. Use the ultras. Yeah, there we go. This is way better. I'm like, what is aspect going back for? And then and then. This yeah, is fairly good. Either, and then uh, we saw the Charmander. Level thirty Pikachu. This is like an AOP run. <laughs> Already try learning, trying to learn Thunder. Now, if this were Eevee version, <laughs> that would be Ooh. starter would be jacked. Uh, Nido King Crisis really wants Nido King at twenty eight. So we can uh, don't need a lure. I'm like dropping a lure. But yeah, every time I run AOP, Kangaskhan never spawns, and I always have to kill my run. But <laughs> in the race today, of course, it freaking spawns. Like first, it was like the third thing, and I was pissed off. So I caught it. I even said to myself, "This is such a bad idea." I'm glad we had two Kangaskhan catches in one day. Yeah, hopefully yeah, the race tomorrow can keep that turn. Oh yeah. <laughs> three for three. Hmm. I heard uh, I heard that we're looking for commentators for that race. Which one? Oh yeah? <laughs> Twelve PM Eastern. <laughs> tomorrow. And who would they have the pleasure of commentating with? Me. <laughs> Whether you think that's a pleasure or not. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Pidgey by accident. Yeah, we warrior. Going for this Firestone here. Kind of waiting on that spinner to turn. So that spinner, if you're hug if you just run into the wall, she can't see you. Because she's also part of the blind society. Yeah. Which Which is the majority of the trainers in this game. Yup. Hey, we gotta see Charmander out in the open. Well, will these runners remember to modest up there? <laughs> their star. The crisis uh, about to start the rival four fight. Uh, aspect already in it. And meanwhile, wave. Pretty far ahead of plot wise, already getting ready to uh, do the synchronize, but uh, is a little behind on catches compared to the other two. Yeah, wave at 30, aspect at 32, crisis at 33. Yeah, crisis and aspect. Does, wave does get the nature sets. Don't think anyone would forget to do that. Yeah, yeah. Who who would ever forget to do that? An integral part of the run. Yeah. I, I'd say just get lucky and don't do it on purpose. <laughs> it would save time if you just got lucky. Yeah. It saves less time in EV because you're already in the center. But yeah, DV, you don't time. even have to enter that center. Yeah. Which is why that never happened in my first race. <laughs> the 
This is looking like a three hit on the zippy zap. Oh, no, double kick. Lovely double kick. Yeah. I'm used to oh, wait! Oh! Oh! What? Ooh. <laughs> oh! Well, that's a mistake. <laughs> yeah, knock it, uh, coming in hard with that, uh... With that eradicate. <laughs> Aspect, Pikachu's 30, so Aspect just... X and 10, or... Aspect, well, you may even be able to help in hand double kick. But you can also just X attack, double kick, or just... Do you see it? Oh, no, we'll likely see a 2C there from Aspect. Uh, no, that's... So get, get your metronome guesses out. Uh, Aspect not having Nido King uh, will be likely a two shot on the Clefairy. If only Aspect had like 92 attack. <laughs> Could just one shot. Is that how much it takes? Yes. Uh, did Wave heal the Pikachu? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Okay. Heal the Nido too, if I saw correctly. Mm -hmm. I think I was looking at Aspect Screen when they healed it. As I said earlier, this is waves to lose, in my opinion, right now. <laughs> that, that, that was, 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 that was uh, this one, step one fight uh, is the big reason. Is the uh, kind that of didn't the even help though. Advantage of getting Nido King uh, over Nido King. Uh, you can crunch this hip now. Wave not getting the one shot though. <laughs> Which makes it the same. Yeah. Water gun. Nice water gun. Okay, doing Nido strats. Aspect grabbing the Firestone here. Hey, noticed. Uh, Wave only has 46 Pokemon planned. Yeah, well, can easily. Oh, Wave didn't get Zubat, I just noticed. Or Cubone. Yeah. Tower Cubone. So, Tower Cubone. Is one. Tower Cubone and Tower Bat. Yeah, there you go. I need both. Wait, everything else is already marked. What the heck? I didn't really. Okay. Yeah, that's why. I, yeah, I was looking at it. I'm like, yeah, this is Wave's race to lose right now, but Wave needs to find four Pokemon. <laughs> you can see Magmar. Vile plume. We're gonna see a vile plume catch. <laughs> it's a skill with a vile plume. Like and then the waves. Eevee oh, Eevee oh, sorry. Too. We get oh, the yeah. Snorlax. No, don't get the Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> maybe wave will follow Dino and uh, get. I realize how dire the catching catch round was. So I take that Mike statement. <laughs> yeah, Wave's gotta find four Pokemon, and I'm not I'm not sure where we're gonna find four at. Uh, I mean, we well, saw Dino Candy a Moth. Well, we we have ideas, but it's very like 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 Zubat and Cubo, ideally. But like that yeah, really like, happens. If it's spawn and tower, none of this matters. I could gamble on the late Abra coming out of Celadon. But oh yeah, that's a. Uh, we saw Dynam try to gamble yep. with that and didn't spawn. It it in the my race today I actually saw the Avro. I didn't need it, but the Avro was there for me if I needed it. <laughs> Wave, Wave could also get a Jigglypuff and go for backup Moonstone. Yes, and grab that is. Jigglypuff off that. That is one thing. If only date skip was 100%, you could do it for Clefairy too. But it seems like 50 50 here. Worse. Yeah. It's also. You could 
get back at Moonstone, uh, Wave does have Clefairy, so uh, back at Moonstone does get Clefable. Uh, that's one, but that makes things a little harder because then you need to find three instead of. Okay, Ma Magma strats. Magma is has now been clicked. Is Dynam in the chat? <laughs> Magmar strats coming. <laughs> Magmar has been added to the catch route for Wave. I mean, Wave's just hoping for tower, tower every day. Yeah. Could get Diglett. Diglett's an option. It's not a good no, one. No, it's not. It's not an option. It's not an option. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good <laughs> option, but it's an option. Uh, Forbidden Drowsy is also an option. I, I would take the Drowsy over the Diglett because. You've like yeah, you have to go through like two load zones to get to it. Yeah. Also, last time I did AOP, I saw a Doug Trio before Diglett. <laughs> How many catches do you need for those gift Kanto starters? Uh, the Bulbasaur is the only one, and you need 30. Charmander's 50, and mm. Squirtle's 60, so... Yeah. Bulb is the only realistic one. Yeah, and for those in chat who have never run, like, AOP, it's not 30 registered in the decks, it's 30 Pokemon captured. So, 30 actual catches. Yeah, so in... Mm, if you so do, if you, big you, close. Yeah, so in... If you do early Persian, you have to catch, like, evolved form Pokemon, because the chains, like the Meowth and Growl chains, help you get to 60 catches for the Squirtle. Um, but since you don't have you don't you have five of the growls instead of eleven growlets, you need to catch some uh, evolved stuff. Which is why it's nice if you see Squirtle on Route 25, and then you don't have to catch anything evolved. Yeah, you just keep the Squirtle in your party, and it just turns into Blastoise at some point. The real strategy is to just get Squirtle in uh, Seafoam, and then it takes too long to evolve. Wait, Squirtle wants the Seafoam? Yeah, it's the rarest mm -hmm. one. Oh, I actually didn't know that. That's where you catch it in Diploma. The oh, okay. Catch it in the Which is why it's, you, you chain, like, Pidgeys on Route 1, and then you get Squirtle in Seafoam, but that's also why it's nice to get Squirtle in Diploma runs on 25, because then you can skip chain and save, like, some minutes. Oh, Ooh, didn't hit the... the Squirtle spawns. <laughs> didn't... Didn't get the wheezing range. So does that mean Bulbasaur spawned somewhere else too? Because Charmander nope. spawned in Tunnel and on 3 and 4. No, Bulbasaur's only in Forest. Wow, Game Freak just hates Bulbasaur. I mean, they boosted his catch rate, which is nice. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd probably like almost always skip. You know, you know which starter Game Freak likes the most, because it's the one that has three spawns on three different routes. You can also catch Charizards. That's true. Charizard does fly. Uh, Wave has actually marked. Uh, Wave has marked Tangela on their catch route. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll all fix itself when Cubone and Zubat <laughs> appear. Wave has marked hey. Tangela on the Aspect, catch route. Aspect. Aspect is doing old strats. Let's go. I'm gonna do the sacrifice Clefairy. I'm about it. Yes, doing it with Clefairy is a little bit better than with Jigglypuff. Clefairy actually comes with increased friendship, um, so it does have a chance to live via power of love. That could also be a bad thing, because um, you want the helping hand. Oh, I think the universe, it, is, it is worse. Uh, well, it's fine once, you just don't want it to happen twice. Yeah. Or I guess, yeah. But I think Aspect Pikachu is good enough where the coughing and um, Weezing, well, or specifically the Weezing, isn't a range with Helping Hand or like has it, so it'll, yeah. all, it'll just be a three turn fight. Aspect um, pretty over leveled, so probably not gonna come up. I thought I saw Aspects as good as good to. That's why I did it earlier, because it's like the same amount of turns, like Rhyhorn usually doesn't. Especially if it's level 24, it won't kill uh, Weezing in one shot, so it'll be a three turn anyway, so it's like. 
qualify for the turn for Godless, so it doesn't really matter. And so Wave's starting the first Giovanni fight. Um, in EV, there's uh, a bunch of different strats you can do for this fight. You can do the EV one, you can do boom strats. Um, there's a couple older strats, but uh, in Pikachu, there is one strat, and it is uh, get this Pikachu to as high attack as possible. Uh, we're setting up a lot of X items here. Um, already at plus four, going to plus six. And it is all for this Rhyhorn here. Um, also, we can uh, double kick it, and plus six still isn't enough, so we help in hand to bring it to around plus ten uh, to be able to one shot it. A wave through Rocket Hideout. Wave Wave did have to use a revive. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if Wave goes to pick up the backup uh, Max Revive that's hidden in this room. Uh, it's actually hidden in the potted plant for some reason. Uh, wave deciding not to grab it. Clefairy, unfortunately, not living on that power of love, but it's uh, not too unexpected. Yeah, it's fine. Um, it, it is cool to kind of like bait out another turn uh, for the AI to want to take out the Clefairy, but um, it dying is uh, just fine. Wave also picking up the backup Ultras. I would definitely do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah Wave. Wave does need a lot, especially if Magmar and Tangela are options. <sighs> yeah, see, Pikachu easy gets this. Aspects and Crisis are like right next to each other. <laughs> so close. Yeah, almost synced up frame for frame, same catch count. And aspect about aspect and crisis both about to start uh, neutral oh. archer. Wave going, making an extra like not flying back to tower right away and going and looking for more Pokemon. Yeah, interesting. Uh, wave grabbing Jigglypuff. Uh, we mentioned earlier you can go and get back at Moonstone. There is a Moonstone hidden in Saffron City. Uh, it's a copycat's house. Uh, you can use that to turn it into Wigglytuff for an extra catch. Uh, so that's well, the question. Question is, does Wave know about it? I'm not sure Wave does. Also curious, is Wave looking for like an Avra? Because I feel like normally you just wait for you would just. Wave has unmarked Tangela with the Jigglypuff catch. Because I feel like you could have just done this after Erica. Maybe yeah, didn't sure want to out. Um, could have. Very strange, yeah. Wait. Is there no Nito in Waves? Uh, no. Uh, they actually dropped it. So I guess they might do uh, the same strat that uh, Aspect was doing for the second J and J fight of just kind of using a bait Pokemon, um, using that fairy type uh, Jigglypuff to take a couple hits um, from the Arbok. Did Pikachu get like crit under yeah. poison? I'm not sure exactly what happened. I just saw it leaving, <laughs> getting uh, knocked out. So he did have to revive it. And in that time, healing and reviving, Nidoking got knocked out. Yep. Rip. Crisis having a bit of a time here in uh, our neutral archer. Um, so this is a range since Crisis is my special attack, that's Gold Bat. So you would like the helping hand, but obviously it doesn't have the helping hand right now. How bad is the range? No idea, because I've never missed it. <laughs> 
Crisis were taking this turn to revive the. Okay, it's right easy. easy. The wave's still going from the top. Go from the bottom, people. It's better. Uh, the bottom's a little too scary for me. It's There's nothing scary. Right and... Nothing scary. She does. She can't look down. I know she can't look down. But if you just hug the wall, she can't. The room looking to the right. Yeah, yeah, then you just hug. You just go straight down and hug the wall. And she can't see if you're hugging the wall. The bottom wall. I don't know. I go down because I think going from the top is too scary. <laughs> the top is scarier, and it's slower. Yeah, she has eagle eye from the top. You just have to. Oh, oh uh, ghastly. getting a ghastly uh, to help with Wave's uh, interesting catch route here. I would say don't lure for tower, but with wanting Zuba and Cubone, I would say probably lure for tower. Probably lure for tower, <laughs> even though it doesn't seem to make a difference. Oh, this needle keeps gonna die. Needle King dying would be fine because. Well, wait, what, what level is Crisis? Maybe uh, not. 29 or 28. I don't know Crisis's attack, but. Aspect opting not to grab the backup uh, Ultras. Great. Oh, Ultras. I thought he was farther. Nice Gastlies. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, Wave on a Gastly chain, so. Uh... Very low chance to see the uh, the next two things we need in tower. Keep on pretty rare spawn there. Um, I've only seen Zubat a couple times in tower. Isn't it just like just as rare? I feel like I see Golbat more frequently. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know how rare Zubat is in tower. I didn't know it could spawn there for like a year, to be honest. Uh, looks like five percent. Yeah, five percent for Zubat, Goldbat, and Haunter. I see more Haunters than anything else. Yeah, I, <laughs> I see Gastlys and Haunters. <laughs> I don't believe there's five percent Haunter. I, I what's Cubone in Tower? Like a, a one? Ten. 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 But it's Cubone better. is more common than Zubat. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know how true that is. I believe it's true. That part. I don't believe Haunters is. is is less. I see Haunter more. In in my race today, I only saw Haunter. I contemplated catching the Haunter for like <laughs> 0. 0.1 seconds, and then oh, I'm like, oh, that's, that's I'm like, I already caught Kangas Khan. I'm not doing Haunter too. <laughs> if you were in Wave's position, would you get Golbat if it spawned in Tower? No. It's not that uh, bad yet for the catch the catch route. I would I would just get Magmar. Uh, we have um, to wait in a second, seeing if anything spawned. Uh, it was another Ghastly, so... Wave still get... find three more Pokemon. I'd get Magmar. Um, Magmar, Tangela, backup Moonstone gets us there. I, I really don't know if Wave knows about that Moonstone. Wave doesn't know about the backup Moonstone. I would hope for an Eevee. Not likely. Eevee Flareon is an Eevee Flareon Magmar is an option. Uh, Aerodactyl? Aerodactyl is an option. Oh yeah, that is an option. That is slow though. It's like, very slow to get. It's really like slow. 40 seconds to fly there and 40 seconds to like revive it. Wave currently going through the second J and J fights. Uh, oh, nice I just see gas there from Aspect. Yeah, so my gas he spawned at the bottom of that floor, and I was like, I'm not going back to work because the spinners are back. Yeah, those those spinners <laughs> are very unpredictable. I probably should have gone back for it, but I was like, nah. Um, what what else could Wave do? Did, I guess the ten percent ditto on the bottom floor. And Zubat doesn't spawn in Mansion, so I mean, ditto. Ditto is an option. It's a. I think it's a bad option. I'd, I'd rather go for Tangela than Ditto. We gotta go for both, though. Yeah. 
It's like Tangela. Uh, there is another option. This is not a great option, but it is something. You can catch a magic carp, and it evolves in one level. You could, yeah. It's not the best option, but it is something. Aspect hasn't seen a Cassidy, right? Uh, not, no. Aspect has not seen one yet. Whatever. Aspect doesn't need one. Aspect has 52 uh, planned right now, so... Uh, already has unmarked the Ghastly. Oh, has remarked it. <laughs> did it spawn? Uh, it did not. Oh, but, okay. Uh, uh, maybe uh, <laughs> deciding to wait a little bit on... Uh, I think just this benchmark did spawn before the cutscene, but uh, unfortunately not spawning, so... Uh, Aspect not gonna be able to get Ghastly this run. That's fine. Yeah, it's not a big deal for Aspect. Um, Aspect is currently, without the Ghastly and Haunter, there's 50 uh, marked, so... Um, just needs everything to spawn from here on out. Uh, couple, has a buffer. A couple backups of things don't spawn, too, so Aspect in an okay position. Uh, Wave, of course, still needing to find three more. Uh, Crisis, uh, I do not believe... Crisis has gotten Ghastly, um, mm -hmm. and has 52 plans, so we can cut some things from Crisis's uh, route necessary so what would you cut out what do you what do you like catching the least out of Psyduck from, Grimer from Pidgeot, Pidgeot. Pidgeotto Psyduck Grimer what would you not want to catch probably Pidgeotto just because it moves around yeah. a bit although I guess I don't have much experience with Grimer I don't know how Grimer is uh, it's like Psyduck easy oh okay yeah, I'd, I'd probably cut Pidgeotto um, from this. Like, coughing sucks. Grimer is really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course, I don't know how Christ is going to handle it, but uh, maybe, like, if Christ enters the route and sees Pidgeotto Doduo Pony right off the bat, it might just be like, eh, I'll cut Grimer. Um, I don't need to get it. So. I would just cut whichever doesn't show up out of the Pidgeotto or Psyduck. Yeah. Depending on what's on the route, um, just cut that. But if I had the option to pick, uh, Pidgeotto would be absolutely the thing I would cut, just because it's a bit of a pain to catch. Yeah, yeah. Grimer is, is like, so free. Yeah, Grimer so. just kind of sits there, so... Like, as far as version exclusive Pokemon goes, like, I think Oddish is better than Bellsprout. Bellsprout, like, kind of moves side to side sometimes. Yeah. Um, and, like, the circle can, like, be weird. Uh, and then coughing... No explanation needed, right? Coughing just sucks. Um, yeah, coughing's terrible to have to catch, but... Grimer and Otis are really nice catches. Um, I'd say Sanchu kind of sucks. I don't know how good Ekans is. That's fine. It's usually just one of... Uh, Rapidash! Rapid uh, some Pidgeotto there for Wave. Uh, nothing helpful. <laughs> Wave's gonna have to uh, wait here. Yeah, might... I don't know, maybe, maybe, I feel like you have to go for the pony here, because catch route's not great. Needs the base forms, like, can't yeah, go without them. You can't even, like, audible to the... Oh, there's the... Oh, okay. okay. So, on this route, you catch stuff as you see them. That also makes everything on chains, so it's, like, less... But you, ha you, have, you have to catch them if you see them. Yeah. I thought oh, you were so pleased. Yeah, you can't just... You can't just like kind of skip it and keep moving because you do usually on this route you are going to need somewhere between three and four maybe as many as five things on this route okay crisis scared me for a second it, it shot nothing spawn in the wild right so after the post game yeah only post game yeah uh, pidgey uh, Pidgey, not helpful. Oh, there's an Eevee. Yeah, oh, no, that's a Sorry. no, that's a rat. I'm like... There's a Psyduck? Duck. Oh, wait, he already caught a duck. Oh, yeah, it doesn't need duck. Really needs the pony. No repels. Uh, uh, there's, there's Rapidash. Well, Going for the Rapidash is going to have to find another Mon. 
This is getting worse. I totally didn't realize Ooh. how bad the tunnel yeah, stuff was. Yeah, this is rough. Right, this is this is where I was yesterday. Like, well, what do you do? This is a like uh, catch wise. This is decent. Check it in. It was glowing too, as well, I believe. Doesn't need the XP though. Oh, that's that's some extra levels. That's not good levels. <laughs> that's definitely <laughs> some extra levels. Let's get Dodrio early though. So, <laughs> but those are a lot of chop levels. Yeah, that's uh. Shiny! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! What? 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 Oh my god! Are you kidding me? That's what? Can't back. Okay, okay. King Trumps got it in the AOP race, like couple weeks ago. He got it. But what a what? That's full eyes! <laughs> okay, sorry people, I was totally intentionally yelling louder. <laughs> We've had two shinies in this run, one caught, one that we would never catch in a million years. But I can't wow. believe it. Wow. Oh my god. Pony for Aspect, nice start. <laughs> what shiny spots? Wow, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Aspect yeah. has a crappy pony cycle, but I can't believe it. Oh wow. Is that the first, uh, like, I don't want to say like static, but like, none of the gift, no one's gotten a shiny gift yet, right? Not no. during the tournament, no. Oh, wow. Can Lapras and Porygon be shiny? Yes, they can be. Okay. I think we are going for Old Amber. <laughs> Honestly, Old Amber isn't a bad option, too. Uh, it, 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 it's fast. Uh, it moves fast, so... Aspect seeing all the ponies because it's on the pony chain. Yeah. Really needs Psyduck and Doduvo. <laughs> Or, and Pidgeotto. You want two of the three? Probably we just show us a shiny Snorlax, like... There's the duck, or the fish. I can't believe we it's shot a shiny Snorlax. Hey, second one! <laughs> Alright, can we get a second shiny Snorlax? <laughs> second one! I'm paying attention. Uh, a bunch of Pidgeys out on the route there. Um... Not a shiny Snorlax, unfortunately. No. Uh, that was that was really hype. <laughs> the shiny Snorlax. I can't believe it. That that was really hype. <laughs> okay, Aspect wants. Uh, oh, there's there's the other dirt bird. All right, so we got Big Bird. Uh, we have Big Bird. Aspect wants Pidgeotto, but can leave without it. See how Crisis's Rock 17 goes. Duck, okay, nice start. No, just Crisis pony. Meaning, uh, duck, Big Bird, and Pony. And Not the duck. One of uh, Pidgeotto or Grimer. Uh, aspects needing actually aspects two catches left for us or three catches yeah can can get tenta so can move on without yeah can move on uh pidgeotto spawns great um can also get pidgeotto uh just south of palette as well yeah so another ch another shot at pidgeotto um okay nice so only crisis only just needs um pony left Wave. Uh, there's a Tangela. There's wave. Oh, one percent! Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh wow! All right, so we might have to do Vile Plume. Uh, this is like sixty something percent. Oh, okay. So Ultra, Ultra, so, uh, regular Raz is like seventy something. Not the excellent too.
I will be seeing Crit. wave go for this vile thing. Really wants these in. Was that another? Was that silver res or was that regular? That was silver res. That was silver this time. So that's like eighty-six percent. Yes, yeah, so ultra, ultra, excellent raz, seventy-five percent. So that first breakout was uh, pretty unlikely. Feels bad, especially in this scenario. <laughs> going for it. No, not. not going for the Vile Plume. Not going for the Vile Plume. Like, I'll take Vile Plume over Ditto. 100%. Oh, absolutely. Going for Tentacool? Did did Wave go to Tutor? I don't think so. Did uh, Wave... I don't believe it. Did Wave do what? So. Go to Pewter. Go get the Amber? I don't think so. No, uh, Wave did not get uh, the old Amber. They did not have it marked. Uh, wave going for Tentacool. Being very cautious with these Ultra Balls. Uh, they have a lot, actually. I believe uh, when they did the Tangler catch, I think they had six left. Eleven. They had eleven, and then nine, and then nine. seven. Yeah. I think they. I think Wave doesn't have much now. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, and it is. Ten eighty one. Okay, that's pretty easy. One. Nothing for Wade. Why, but uh, kind of an indication that it might not be a terrible Starmie. I... What is Wave trying to do? <laughs> uh, I did not see Wave's... Uh, oh, there there's is the... Star. Okay, there's the Starmie for Wave. And Wave In this scenario? 1068. Five Ultras left. So Aspect just needs tank... Or... Ten, or uh, Grimer and, uh, Tentacool. Is Tentacool going to spawn? It's pretty common on this route, so... Uh... You say that now. <laughs> Another star. Oh, there it is! Alright, so... Um, Aspect uh, does look like they will clear the 50 catch bar. Um, wave. Oh, wow. Wave special attack is actually Ooh. crazy. Okay, so Crisis caught Pidgeotto, so doesn't need Grimer. Just done with catches. Just needs, well, just needs a star you catch. Yep. Done besides that. Uh, wave evolving into Starmie, doing the Starmie menu a little early. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you do it at, um, just getting it evolved and ready to go. Um, so Aspect, Aspect uh, just sitting needs... pretty here. Yeah, Aspect just needs Grimer. It's, it's just easy. And there it is. <laughs> so that will actually clear it for Aspect. That is all 50 Pokemon that Aspect will need to complete the game. 126 and 46, damn. Still feel like I would have caught that Vile Plume, but we'll see what happens. What was the <clears> speed <throat> on this army? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay. I, it was also pretty good. It wasn't, I don't think it was in the 90s after like a, a first candy, but um, still definitely above average. Yeah, I saw the, I saw the, the second rare candy brought the star up to 92. Mm. Uh, we'll see what uh, aspects look like. Uh, it's very fast. Very fast and not that great of special, but... There's a Magmar. Uh, here's Wave going for a Magmar. Uh, Wave still needing... Is Wave yoloing Avras? On the way to... You need to find two more Pokemon after this. I see YOLOing Abras on Route 8 or 7. Uh, or, or... Are we going to see the Venom candy? Uh, we could see Venonat candy. Uh, Pikachu does have the option, uh, unlike Eevee version, uh, Pikachu okay, does end up with a free rare candy, so... 
I can't use that for other things. 1020 say, oh no. Oh, that's low. Uh, I need to hope that it's all in uh, special attack. Special attack. Rip, great balls now. Ooh, that was the last ultra too for Crisis. Okay, wave Grimer. And wave remembering that they need a uh, Grimer. Uh, deciding to save an Ultra. So maybe saying that uh, kind of an indication of what Wave's going to be doing, just finding another Pokemon to catch, but... I, I wonder if it. Aspects Star will be speedy enough for Agatha. I think that's what I was wondering too. <laughs> I believe it's we'll find out. 55. Five. Yeah, because the game goes 154. Uh, very possible. Okay, these runners are super close now. Yeah, I would take Aspect at the point in time simply because Aspect doesn't need to catch anything else. <laughs> yeah, Aspect just needs to evolve um, a couple Pokemon. Uh, looks like we need Golduck, Muck, uh, Dodrio, and Tentacruel. Picking up our two gift Pokemon to close this out. I did notice Wave is got rid of the Dodrio, so Fire Blast time. When we get to, uh... Oh, does Aspect also get rid of the Dodrio? Do you two still use Dodrio, or do you use Rapidash here? Uh, I use Rapidash. Yeah, same. I've, I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. Uh... Oh, okay. Speed is bad. Uh... Special yeah, attack is fine. Special attack is passable. Speed is not very good. Uh, Just needs to hit 128 for rival five. That's fine. Although, I think doesn't have speed either of Blaine's pokes. I'm not sure. That Maybe at 46. Let's see on the Scald Teach. Oh, 80s. I'm not sure. My wave having a dodge giant muck that was kind of taking up the room there. Yeah, but on your question earlier, uh, I use Rapidash. I've noticed that if you enter the Blaine fight um, at like 70 ish percent, uh, he can go for Flamethrower more often. So it allows you to skip the turn of healing. Um, don't know Bard, how true you don't get antidotal evidence, but Bar, you don't get ten percent burn. Yeah, that happened, to me, that happened to me today. Uh, so wave not grabbing the extra rare candy there. Um, wave still need to find two extra Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not sure what. It's gotta be Yolo Abra. Like I can't think of anything else. I it's yeah. it, unless unless Wave knows about like backup Moon Moonstone. Uh, but, but that's still one. one. Yeah. And you would have thought. I, I'm thinking it's either Yolo Abra or maybe maybe grabbing like Venonat. Yeah, yeah, I guess I go for the Venomoth. <laughs> but but Ven but Venonat, you would have Wave should have got the extra candy in Mansion. You could hit the one itself. For 10, yeah, I guess. Yeah, Maybe I mean, it's definitely not as fast, but... Crisis entering mansion. Yeah, I can't... If... Because I feel like I feel like if Wave knew about that Moonstone, Wave would have just caught the Bio and then... Stone. Yeah, and then all you need to do is just grab the grab the Moonstone, evolve either Clefairy or Jigglypuff. Yeah. So I can't even see if there's like something in. Looks like Wave is confirming that Abra is the plan. Okay. Okay. See, phase off. Abra is. Uh, let's. You know what else could be a plan? 4%. What? 
Separate Arcanine? No, wait. What? No, I, I was thinking this is really, really slow to do it. And it might mess up the shopping at the end, but you could go buy a Leaf Stone. <laughs> That's way the best. Too There's also one on Wrap 2 that you have to cut for. Um, oh, Way yeah. got burned. Aspect, I think, got perfect art. Perfect play. I had seen so too, yeah. Wave is perfectly safe, just have to burn on. That shoulder is able or Peter Crun Crunchy. Okay, who thinks we're gonna see. Hey, Ma, any mods? Prediction Will we see Kadabra before Abra? Well, Wave is. <laughs> hey, if that happens. You can just get the backup Moonstone, assuming we have those. Oh, Wave also got confused race gift, but got her. Nice crit. Uh, Wave did indeed sell the fossil. Uh, I know someone in chat was asking, but. Um... I mean, yeah, any wave said the plan is just uh, yoloing it for Abra. Can we see Arcanine, Cadabra, Porygon before the Abra? <laughs> the Porygon would be a pretty good one if there wasn't a gift wand. <laughs> the Porygon's cursed. Yeah, can't catch Porygon there. You get a free one, so. Waiting for the shiny Porygon. Well, the good news is that um, two of our runners have seen a shiny here. So since Wave needs to reset the route, he's doing just saying, can we have our first <laughs> triple shiny run? There is another, I thought of another option for Wave, but I don't, oh no, never mind. That's not worth it, actually. I just realized why. What? I was going to say going up, doing Vermillion, skip again, grabbing Goldeen, but there's a cutscene after you beat, uh, after you defeat, uh, Surge. No, there's not. Not here. Oh, is it, does that only happen if you do Surge in order? Yup. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Then we could beat Surge. Do Vermilion skip again, go get Gold Dean. And then you just <laughs> do your And could do that. Using our AOP knowledge here to figure out like what weird things we could catch. I I would have just caught the vile plume. Yeah, if we went for the Vile Plume, you just need one, and then Goldeen, Abra, back Well, just the Moons, yeah, I would just probably... Yeah, back Moons is well, obviously the best out of all of them, but... Well, I would take, if, I, if the Abra was there, I'd probably take that, because you're not taking the Detour to the Moonstone, but... Uh, barring that, I mean... You, you know it's going to be really, really hype when Wave gets it first try, right? <laughs> you mean when Kadabra spawns then? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what do you do if it's Kadabra? I guess like the back of Moonstone. Point, yeah. Yeah. Or Venom. What do you do if it's facing? I'm <laughs> waiting for the Abra that's like facing the guardhouse. No, so that you just take your second controller and you circle it around the Pokemon, and just keep bouncing it up and down. Yeah, that's fair. And then hit far away yeah, enough. You, it kind of stuns the Abra from teleporting away. One twenty-eight. We would have to pick up round or uh, ten, floor ten candy. To uh... oh my god, I just Venomoth. noticed that Venomoth has been added to the tracker. Yeah, that happened oh, today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just saw Greta mention it in chat. And I was like, wait, what? Candy's floor ten. Well, not listening, but. Floor 10 candy, grab the bottom item. Yeah, there is a rare candy on floor 10 that you can grab. 
And then uh, before you go fight uh, Koga, you just go do that. Now, if Wave does go for the Venonat, do you use the Master Ball, which has the guaranteed animation, or do you just the go... Master Ball? Yeah. Because then you also bring out the second... Up point. Yeah, because you also bring out the second controller, you use the Master Ball. Yeah. And you can just, you can chuck your Joy-Con across the room and it'll still, uh, it'll still catch. Aspect deciding that Starmie is the most adorable Pokemon in their party. Uh, same with Wave, actually. Really? Yeah, I think. Uh, I, was, I see. I see uh, Razor talking about it in chat. I think. I think you just hope for the Abra to be there, and if not, you kind of formulate some backups. Because if it's there, none of this matters. Um, but yeah, I, uh, it was interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, I really did not notice that Wave did not catch a bunch of things in Tunnel. <laughs> yeah, no Cubone, no Zubat. I did get Nidoran, Warcraft, um, So for those who have watched a lot of races uh, during the tournament, uh, would you say this is the most cursed catch raid? Of the run, of the tournament, the most uh, the most cursed one. No. <laughs> if we have to go get Venonat, Contender. One. Oh, Dion's pretty cursed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wave has an extra candy. He says. Hmm. Oh yeah, didn't he get Rapidash? Yeah, he did catch up, though. So he didn't have to grant the candy the pony. Okay, Crisis is the only runner I've ever seen go to the right side of Giovanni. I've never seen anyone do the right side, ever. I've never, because you have to go around the, the gentleman, so it's slower. I've never seen anyone go right side. Now, do you, do you snake around the cans, or do you just go to the side of the room and walk up? No, I, sna I, I do, like, 45 degree angles behind the track. Okay, that's how I do it, too. Okay, Aspect has Dodrio. So for the blue fight, do you got do you two use uh Rapidash or Dodrio? I use whatever I have. I try to use Dodrio as much as I can, but if it doesn't spawn, then it's it's Rapidash. I do like I, I wanna try using Magmar to see if it's good, but <laughs> I, I try to avoid catching Magmar as much as possible. Alright, wait. Hey, let's see. Maybe. Nothing. Oh. Oh, wait, he's still the repel. repel, actually. No lore. No lore, unfortunately. Oh. So Just repelled because they were... It was because stuff away. was blocking. Yeah. Uh, blocking did, did, uh, did use the repel to kind of uh, make all the terrible spawns go away. Yeah, right slide, you have to go around the, the gentleman, which is just slower. I'm fairly confident. Fairly confident, because you're going higher. Because you can just cut the corners on the left side, so it's more like, it's quicker to get there. All right, so we're starting the Silphco section. Like the worst section in the game. If, it's, if the site spawns, I'm out. You two can finish the commentary. 
Yeah, this is the most interesting. Uh, wave. I think Wave forgot to summon second controller, but uh, it's not a, a big deal. We can just summon second controller in battle. Crisis is the only ones whose catch route is like normal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aspects like isn't as bad. I think, but still. Oh, oh. Uh, I believe wave forfeit. Okay. All right. So then, I guess it's just crisis and aspect. I, I didn't catch if maybe he forgot to put one of the other um, Rapid Edge or Dodrio in slot two. That could have been the case. But GG's wave for this tournament, probably not what you wanted coming into it, but still, congrats on your run. Yeah. Had to get a little creative there at the end and... Uh, was about to pull it off. Uh, that's uh, definitely getting un unlucky with spawns and can definitely be frustrating. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, um, Aspect is heading into the Archer fight, which. Uh, I think all of us know pretty well is an infamous fight in the game while Crisis is finishing up Erica, uh, and then we'll be heading over to Sylph Co himself. Yeah, so this is an Archer 2. Uh, this is uh, not really a difficult fight, uh, but you can lose a lot of time on this fight just for a lot of reasons. Uh, perfect fight here is uh, Self Disrupt. Um, Self-destruct, no protect. Uh, that is not uh, perfect there. Uh, getting T-bolted, but uh, not a lot of damage done to that um, Starmie, so... If it booms, free for turn. It's like free, barring the Weezing protect. Just boom. Yo, easy! Would you like to see? Does, does the Cubone? Oh, see? There we go. So four turn or five turn if Weezing protects, which you'll see occasionally. Yeah, to anyone just joining from the raid, unfortunately, wave forfeited because. Uh, Needed, needed more Pokemon, didn't have enough, um, and yeah, just some unfortunate spawns here and there. <laughs> oh, nice Weezing Protect. Uh, so five turns. Uh, Yo, you're turns. welcome. Commentary scripts don't <laughs> exist, that's your own fault. Yeah, now, right now we got Aspect and Crisis. Winner of the race uh, moves on to the next round. Um, yeah, once again, way forfeited because only 48 planned. Um, so Abra didn't spawn on the YOLO route and would have had to try to catch like Venonat or something. Would have had to done something. Um, Yeah, the next uh, two fights for Aspect are going to be pretty safe, pretty standard, since we are an overleveled Starmie now. Um, well, Crisis is going to come up on the Archer fight soon uh, himself. And then we will get a look at Aspect shopping to see if uh, they are planning to implement 
any risky strats in the end game, but uh, given the, the state of the race at the moment, I have a feeling I'll probably go for safe strats. Yeah, the archer fight is fine from Aspect. We'll see what Crisis gives us. Yeah, so Aspect on uh, J and J four. Hit by the Thunderbolt, but just... No Dojo target. Uh, just... no. Uh, just healing up to full here. Luckily, I expect didn't get Thunderbolt in one once. Only one Super Potion left. Okay, Crisis, wishing you a good one. Archer. That's why you always grab the one. I usually grab the Hyper Potion. Um... There, there, yeah. On, so, on self instead? Yeah. Oh, Aspect did grab a Hyper. Okay. But, yeah, I usually grab the Hyper. I know some people, at least in early rounds, did early shot to get the Hypers earlier. Okay, let's see what Crisis gets. I feel like I've never seen in this tournament, whenever I'm commentating, I've never seen like a perfect turn one. It's either self destruct or, or sorry, protect or thunderbolt. Oh, that's even worse. That is <laughs> really bad. That, that is not good at all. No. At least got the psychic off. <laughs> yeah, at least got the psychic off. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, this is self, not hopefully self destructs. Yeah, this is not going to work. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now we just need to turn... Um... Tom Ray? Oh! 90%! Come on! Power through it? Come on. Maybe we're just going to power through it, yeah. What's the chance? Is it 50-50 or is it... Uh, we're going to 70-30. Uh, okay, come on. Uh, the crit? Okay. Punch Come man. on, just bone ring kill. Uh, no. Uh, I think you have to heal this. No, because that was a crit. You can't survive one more. Yeah, but well, what about a gold back crunch? Oh, 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 you are. Yeah, because you're oh, cause paralyzed. You're slow. You're paralyzed. You're slow. Yep. Yeah. Um. Simone. State. If this Cubone actually took out the Raticate, it would have been fine. But it missed the 90% bone rate. This is still fine, actually. Um, you can revive the Starmie um, and be able to take things out. Or um, you might be able to finish the fight off with Dodrio, actually. Just, uh, you know, uh, if you have an extra. Another... Oh no, hit. I thought that was another. That was an air slash dodge. I thought that was another bone ring dodge. If you do X attack, um, drill peck. The Kibo was awful. <laughs> this Kibo is... um, So I have actually died uh, on this fight before, so there is one thing to note. Um, the EXP, it might be fine because uh, Crisis actually revived the... Uh, yeah, it's fine. The, ...the thing, but if you do die on this fight and you choose not to revive the Starmie, um, you'll have to candy after Kaden um, instead of after Sabrina, because uh, that's when you'll grab the level ups. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. I'm like, where's Crisis going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, waiting. Okay.
So Crisis has no revives. I don't think Crisis got the max revive in. No, none Hideout. of our runners got the backup max revive. Yeah, so if Crisis does go 2C, needs another revive. But yeah, 2C Geo would need another. Yeah, can't pick up that one that's on the way out of the gym. Oh, yes. Um, <clears throat> if he's aware of that. Could also just buy um, a revive on the final shop. Just have to scroll to it. Aspects looking pretty good right now. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, Kaden doesn't troll either of these runners. Yeah, Caden being the, the real gym leader there of uh, this. of uh, Fuchsia City. Alright, let's see what Aspect buys here. I don't remember if Aspect bought an X Defense. 99? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure if Aspect bought enough X Specs. What do we think? No, I think you need exactly 100 for the end of the game, so it might be one short. Well, Aspect bought self special defenses, so I'm hoping that we get some excitement and not just boring TC strats. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, if either of you know what's the... like. Does it matter what time he gets uh, for pot order? Um, top two time in the lower bracket, so it would have to be... Uh, 308 something to get like the pot two in the lower bracket because right now Sandy and Furious are the pot two um, runners from lower bracket, so we have to be uh, both their times to secure pot two or just one of their times to be in the, the hunt for it. Um, That's like also getting a. Uh... We didn't touch on this before, but uh, approaching the teleporters uh, in a very specific way um, doesn't lose you any time. So you want to see the player just walk directly on the teleporter. Uh, kind of approach it in like a very specific direction. I I uh, always get like one or two. Uh, I always mess up one or two. I believe especially this last one. The teleporter. I feel like he messed one up in Sylph, but that could be wrong. Um, yeah, so, so um, Sabrina's gym, if we, we talked about when Wave uh, was looking for Pokemon, we were talking about, but um, after you exit Sabrina's gym, there's the dojo, and then if you go across, there's the, there's this house, and you go in it, um, and then go up the stairs, and then there's a hidden Moonstone. Um, so you get, that's like a backup Moonstone, it takes like 30 seconds to get, so it takes a little bit, but like, it's if you need it, it's a good backup. Or, well, if you're very desperate, it's a backup. <laughs> I, I guess I would really call it good, but <laughs> but it's there. <laughs> it's there if you need it, it's not the worst. Burn. That's about getting the burn. Off the Scald. Getting Lapras first. Do you two get Lapras first or the candy first? I get the candy first. I used to be a Lapras first, but I have uh, recently switched over the course of this tournament to doing the candy first. Yes, because that's the correct answer. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any difference, but uh, the top runners are doing it, so there must be something to it. <laughs> I have never timed it. It just feels better. You know the classic, like, it yeah. feels better even if it's, like, totally wrong. It's all about vibes. I think Aspect should ride Kanga in Elite Four. What do you think? Wait, can you even do that? You can't do that. I think Aspect should just ride Kanga. From Victory Road to Indigo Plateau. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, Aspect saying uh, there, Starmie has really good special defense. I've, I've noticed that during the Archer fight mm -hmm. where they got bolted. 
Yeah, let's see, uh... Did, like, no damage. Oh, got that teleporter. Easy. Aspect hitting every teleporter. Okay, are you early teeth or late teeth? <laughs> Depends on how I'm feeling, to be honest. Uh, I do early. Uh, just... No, hopefully to get it off the, out of the way, and then if I like realize midway through Koga's gym that I forgot, uh, I'll go after. <laughs> Fair, yeah. I think late teeth is like, I think it's like half a second slower. I think it's even like frames. I don't know how much, you know, it's really just personal preference. Yeah. Okay, here comes Kaden. Oh, early teeth, okay. We're gonna get teeth first. So I didn't see what um Crisis bought. I believe Crisis bought an X Defense uh, at the beginning of the run. Uh, so in EV version you'll actually buy the X Defense here, but in Pika you'll actually buy it uh in the pewter gym. I think I think Christ is just doing every like just doing PB strats. Yeah. At least that's what he said before the race, so I'm just expecting one CG, like, one CGO, we'll see, one C Naomi. I don't know, I don't think the star is good enough for one C Naomi, so probably two C, but like, expect one C E4. Um, yeah. No kick by Koga's here, I think. Guy's the only one that's been kicked by Koga. Believe so. Uh, successfully played any percent correctly. <laughs> Here comes Kaden. What will we see turn one? I like the toxic turn one because it almost guarantees the protect turn two. You think can turn one protect? See if it if it toxic turn one. I'm too scared of the minimize, I just psychic anyway. Oh, Moonblast! And special special attack special down. Drop. Protect. Nope. So I special special early drops like... there. Um, it's not really that great. Um, normally you can scald this B drill, but if you get the special attack drop, you have to uh, psychic it. Rip. No, Complete no, aspect no. can leave this gym with time on you know the super effective text. We take these archers or these cadens all day, though. Yeah, good definitely. As long as good, good, good caden fight. Otherwise, as long as there's no minimize, then we're fine. Yep. And then we get to see uh, the Koga fight. Um, everyone in this gym, uh, every Pokemon in this gym, I believe, has Toxic. Uh, and uh, every Pokemon in this gym also has Protect. Um, at least of the trainers we fight. I, I couldn't tell you what any of the optionals in here have. Probably Protect. Yeah, I would assume they also have Toxic Protect, but uh, of the two trainers we fight, all their Pokemon have Toxic Protect. That's kind of the theme of this gym. No wheezing protect there. Unless it tried on turn one and I didn't see it. No yeah, boom. it did. Yeah, he got the turn one protect. Did, did Aspect scald any of these things? I That's what I was thinking. No? No? Because you really want four psychics. Aspect don't. Well, Ken just should have four psychics. Uh, going uh, for the two gold on the gold bat. No protect either from the gold bat, so that's good. Will this muck protect? No protect oh. on the muck, so a uh, very good Koga gym for Aspect, actually. Yeah. Yeah, what is that? No wasted turns.
Okay, Crisis is approaching. Am I doing what's Crisis is at? 128. Okay. It's Aspect on their way to go get Pushy Push. Uh, the game's equivalent of Strength. trying to estimate what kind of pace aspects on i was thinking like 305 ish i cannot tell you pace at all so I'm i mean I, I basically just base off my <laughs> what i have in my pb and add or subtract mm. um Alistair your... is currently on let me see what's your pb hmm? what's your pb uh, like a 307 and a half. Okay. And I think that was like a minute and a half later Koga. I was just about to ask with the same Pokemon because <laughs> there's only one answer. Mm. Except in AOP, there's a lot of answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think... I think Aspect should try to... Uh, Aspect's on about... Let me see... Because it's usually about 45 minutes from the end of the game... Uh, to the... Uh, to the time you... Oh can't... no! Oh no! Oh no! Hit! Alright, we got it. Alright, we're okay. Oh. That's, al that's almost so bad. Yeah, Aspect's about on 305 pace, maybe high 304 is what I would say. Okay. Survive the minimize, we, we are all set. Liga, Liga. Uh, crisis on around 310 pace, uh, based on uh, my math there. My crude and quick math. See how Crisis's race goes. So, in that case, we could probably expect Aspect to play the end game pretty safely. Uh, as mentioned, I would keep him in the above the top threshold of 308. So. Uh, no need to do anything too risky. Yeah. I mean, it depends on how... Yeah. Caught... What, is, what does this look like? Caught. I fact, also, uh, not feeling there, so... Um, could be indicative of, uh, doing 2C Giovanni. Well, Aspect's last race did get crit by Giovanni 1C, and that's like the reason why. <laughs> that's one of the reasons why Aspect came in third, but... So, yeah. So 2C Samuel, I assume. Yep, 2C on Samuel. But yeah, right now from the upper bracket, Dino and Headbob are pot two, so Fastback can uh, secure pot two with, with dodge those two players. I mean, regardless, you're going to get one of uh, new uh, uh, Amber Etiquette, Ergo, and Trip, so, you know. At this point, it's going to be tough regardless. Although I think... I think all four of those pop ones will probably want to avoid Aspect. <laughs> it's a surprise that Aspect's even down here. Like like we said at the beginning, like, it's pretty surprising that Wave and Aspect were down here in the first place. Getting um, getting caught by uh, Black Belt... Uh, what's this guy's name? Black Belt Takashi. Uh, had to take a step forward. So. I, I randomly sometimes can't hit this where I can talk to this guy. Oh, without the... Exclamation point. Yeah. Yeah. 
I feel like I'm only like 50-50 on it. So, you know, again, it's a fraction of a second. Let's see if we get in the CC. We are going to yes. see the 2C uh, Geo fights. This fight is uh, a bit different on the 2C version. Um, you just uh, set up an X special and hope the Rapidash gets killed by this Earthquake. Uh, it is Its friendship level is just high enough to where it can get Power of Love and live at 1 HP. Uh, and if it lives, um, you do lose uh, quite a bit of time, actually. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm pretty sure Aspect is scared from the last round. <laughs> just wants to see Geo to get through Geo. I don't think it's I don't think it's that much slower to TC it either. So like when you're it's not going a, for PD, a couple seconds slower. But if the Rapidash lives, it's it's much slower. Uh, the Rapidash dying there, so uh, Aspect is now officially through this fight. Um, the Doug the Doug Trio does outspeed the uh, Starmie, but um, that's kind of why we um, lead the fight this way so that. Uh, we don't have to worry about it. Sarmi outspeeds the rest of Giovanni's party. Even crit doesn't kill this time. Um, although yeah. Aspect did have missing health. But I still don't think it was it. Or about like 85-ish percent. Yeah, I still don't think he went kill. Um, Might have lived at like two. Which is enough for this fight, nothing fire. fire. Yep. But the good thing about doing the fight this way as well is that you do have to revive. Uh, let's see, 28-43. Um, you do have to revive the Rapidash afterwards, but you do not have to heal uh, the Starmie. Uh, you actually can heal on the next fight, because uh, we'll be two controlling the next fight as well. Um, well, you sh can just. You're in the heal menu already, though, because you're reviving the Rapidash. So. Yeah, I feel like that's what I um, usually end up doing, is just. Yeah, you just. I'm already heal. here, uh, Hyper Potion, and then just. During that extra battle turn stomp. Yeah. Um, yeah, so back to the pots. I said earlier that Aspect will clinch pot two if they beat Sandy and Furious. That's wrong, because there's still two races left. For some reason, I thought there's only one lower bracket left after mm. this. There are two. But we put, put, uh, Aspect, if Aspect could beat 308 20, uh, which I'm pretty sure they're on pace for right now. Um, yeah. Should, uh, um, roughly three mid 305, uh, high 304 pace right now. No, no offense to the other racers, but like, I don't think the second place racer would beat a 305. So, I think that'd be pretty, pretty safe. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong and I get surprised by the racers in the next two races, but. Yeah, it's definitely going to be challenging for anybody to beat. I mean, there's only a few people that have PBs better than that. Yeah, this here, uh, this here uh, fight, uh, slight difference uh, between EV and Pika versions here. Um, Aspect Starmie is actually very, very fast. Uh, it's 143 speed. Um, but uh, in EV version, that would be fine because you would outspeed everything on Rival's team. But in Pika version, uh, the Rival has a Jolteon here, which is way faster than the OC. Should be Flareon, Riot. No, uh, no. <laughs> but for the things like like the winner could could be Aspect's time, they still need PD, but winner could. But like the second place person would also. Wait, yeah. The second place person would also. Wait. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm confusing myself. The winner has to. Time. Only the winner goes on. Yes. I'm confusing myself looking at this bracket. I think we need better visual brackets than this. Yeah, hey, if, if uh, someone wants to prove me wrong in massively PV, that'd be great. If you're starting out with this run, always make sure to X speed on turn two because X-Speeds don't start until the next turn. So if you like X-Special Attack and then X-Special Attack and Jolteon comes out third, then you're screwed unless Thunder misses. Which with Jolteon, it seems like Thunder never misses. He's wearing a, he has like scope lens or a accuracy boost or something, wide lens. <laughs>
Oh, right. okay. Wait. Okay, so so Aspect's name is one, and then like you said, the rival's name is time. Mm -hmm. But I did see Aspect being named one. Is it worth it to walk straight? Is it worth it to like walk and look towards the guards and so you turn? I've been wondering that myself for the last few days, actually. Yeah, I have been wondering that too. I never thought about it before, but like, you're like full 90 degree turning if you're just going straight. Yeah, if you just talk to them. So I talked to the, uh, in my last race, I talked to this next guy up here that Aspect's about to come up to the, um, or not that guy, sorry, the, the one for Sabrina's badge. Um, I took the other way around that Aspect's taking and just talked to the guy on my way there. Uh, I just try and face that way, but I, I go the same, I go left side. I think it's faster than right side. But like, I try to face them, but I, I don't go up to talk to them. Yeah, that's kind of what I do. I kind of approach, like, kind of at a 45 degree angle so that I'm, like, halfway doing the turning motion yeah. already. But I never really thought about it before, like, this past couple of weeks. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're not seeing one, seeing one controller Naomi. I think Aspect should try and skip them. <laughs> I tried to do that, and... I actually, I almost got this one. This was the closest out of the four. I got skipping, but it didn't You were the first person to get Naomi skip, right? Yes. I was, but that's because I was the only one trying. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, what was it? When that, when that per I forget who, so sorry I can't credit you, but when the person who, uh, did Nelson skip did it, I, I started on every train. I tried to skip. Like, can we skip this person? Yeah, because I was fairly confident, right? Because we, we knew Dawson skipped for like a year at that point. And we thought it was because of like the geometry around Dawson. But when when uh, Nelson came, I'm like, it has to be possible on, on the other trainer. So I uh, oh, nice points. Uh, double Hydro miss here. Triple, Triple. Hydro miss. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, we finally hit it. Okay. That Kangaskhan does have possible. Sucker Punch, by the way. Because yeah, Sucker Punch. Outrage, so. No, no, it was confused. It was finished. Oh, I didn't see it get confused there at the end. Um, that was a little scary, uh, but we're through it. Uh, technically optimal to have Rapid Ash die there, so you don't have to dismiss the second player. Can't just keep it in the party the entire time now. Wait, no, revive, never mind. Yeah. Does Aspect need to heal for Nelson? Uh, probably would. Maybe? Aspect's in, like, the low yellow. Um, yeah. And you have to take at least two hits from this Hypno. You can get a Psychic Defense, Special Defense yeah, Aspect's drop. gonna go ahead and heal this. Yeah. Uh, you don't need to heal the Rapid Ash. Um, there is a free heal after Nelson, so... It's not like we use Rap Dash unless we're doing safe stuff. Um, but yeah, I tried Naomi, got Naomi, and then wasn't recording and forgot about the switch capture feature. So then I did it again. And then I, I tried to skip who's who's that person that Etchy hit while talking to Caroline? No, I don't Colby. I just Colby. know that it's terrible. Yeah, so because I thought it'd be funnier if I skipped Colby first, I tried to skip Colby, but I could not. And it, in like many hours I tried, and then I tried Ca Caroline, and it took like an hour or two, which was way less time. <laughs> and that was back during the days when we didn't know what caused the skip. Yeah, and then I tried on Persian, and I'm sad that Persian can't do it. Yeah, we later found out it's only Rapid Ash and Aerodactyl that can do it. It's, it's a good thing that Persian can't do it though, because that'd be like awful to run. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I guess... That's why I get a little close to that spinner guy, but... I guess with, like, the notch Joy-Cons and whatever, you, you could find consistent setups, but, like... It would just be awful. <laughs> yeah, you have to chain, like, a bunch of, like, Growlithes. Yeah, Skipping and then... the bad part, but you... Because you have to skip uh, both both Route 9-10 trainers, and then, like, what, four... 
everyone in, everyone in a tunnel. Uh, yeah. And then the Clefairy Trainer as well. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you'd shave a lot of time off the run, though. Yeah, I mean, Pika would be superior by and far. Well, in uh, Eevee, you just have to catch the Meowth and the Volta. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it only takes, like, how many Very levels? I mean, uh, Alexa skip from mm -hmm. Aspect. You just have to get uh, Lure it, and then get, you know, Route 6 Chansey, and you're all good. <laughs> I don't oh, see the yeah. problem here. I mean, you could also just catch five from the outside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's still five unlord meowths, unless you somehow get lords. <laughs> Hydro pump? See? Easy hit. Just warming yeah. up early. You had to get them, Aspect just had to get them ready on the Kanga. Uh, stats here, 131, 146. Uh, probably not fast enough to outspeed. Uh, gonna be very close to outspeed uh, the Agatha Gengar. I don't think so. No, I think it's. It, I think it it's gonna, or probably, I think it's gonna be like one. I think it'll. It might speed time. No, because if it's 155, then it's not even close. Oh, right, we only gained one level before Agatha. The second level yeah. in the East Coast on Lance. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, it's not happening. I was, think I was thinking there was a second mm. level. Uh, was was one C! One C, Naomi. One C! Oh. Uh, maybe Crisis just forgetting to summon two C? Or are we just gonna go no, for the... I think Crisis is going. He said oh. he was doing PB strats. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't think the star was good enough to do. Well, we're be. gonna see. And this is, I'm pretty sure this is a range of some sort. Easy. Easy. Oh, easy! Easy. easy. Uh, but is that the second? Uh, because I know Etchy did it. I heard uh, Pokeguy did it. Time. I think Pokeguy did it in round two. Okay. I, I didn't see mm. it, so I could totally be wrong. But I think that's what someone told me. Oh, Etchy did it as well, apparently. Okay, so that chair is looking straight down. You can... You could actually just go, uh, they're part of the Blind Society, you could just go straight. Yeah, their vision does not extend uh, down that far. I just learned that. Apparently it's a 15-16 range, okay, better than I thought. I don't know what the range is like for pumping the Hypno as well. It's way worse. Yeah. We, you need like four in the four. Aspect might have been able to... Uh, uh, Aspect would have been close on the Hypno. Fell asleep. Uh, so... I should be late. Uh, I'm going for T-Bolt. Terra Fully Terra? Nope. Nope. Doing just barely half. And being able to get the rest of it. Uh, will Aspect grab the full restore? Uh, Aspect is no. grabbing the full restore. I I think one C Agatha then two C Lance Champ. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Will we see uh, the Lapras strat? Mm. Uh, Lapras I think was only a thing for Agatha, so. It was, I think, for Sandy Lance used it as well. on land, and it was really hype. Because <laughs> you can Psychic and Ice Shard to guarantee the range if you have low special attack. Can you just do that with Stomp, though? Uh, it also doesn't die to any of Seedra's moves, and uh, getting Hyper Beam puts it in range to die to the Air Slash from uh, the Mega Pidgeot. So, like, it's just one of those mon that's like kind of perfect that always dies on the Mega Pidgeot at the end. It sounded like from Sandy that it's still, you know, a work in progress strat. It hasn't been completely 
fully vetted, but uh, yeah, they seem determined like to make it work. <laughs> yeah, it's only good in uh, Pika, though. Uh, so Crisis with the uh, very clean Alexa skip as well. So Easy. Uh, all of our runners uh, able to get all of the required trainer skips. Uh, the very uh, safe talking. Nice Colby skip. Apparently Colby skip is hard because the game is weird. And is Aspect going to set up to plus six here? Is the question. I have no idea what Aspect stats are. I'm pretty sure they're not good enough. Maybe they are good enough. Uh, oh, and uh, going for nope. the oh, up to plus six. Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe also thinking uh, missed three hydro pumps on uh, Naomi. Well, isn't, isn't Aspect's like low 130s? Like, you want to be like mid one. Yeah. Aspect, one of the people to get faint multiple times from this Hitmon Lee. I don't think he'll be in range though. You know, actually, the Aspect starting has pretty good defenses. That's where the 1080 went. <laughs> the defenses. And yeah, the speed. And the special attack. <laughs> yeah. Earthquake doesn't, doesn't put Aspect in. It might put Aspect in Fate, but Rap <laughs> Dash isn't the they put them in Fate, right? Fate doesn't exist unless you're Aspect. Oh, whoops, look who's racing. Yep. Um, we won't follow it, him if he decides to save before Bruno. <laughs> stealth Rock. It's gonna be Stealth Rock. Aspect does have two Mons in the party, so Stealth Rock is uh, more likely when you have uh, more than one Pokemon in the party. But what if we got Earthquake Crit? <laughs> it's 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, let's see. Aspect used uh, Psychic on the whatever, so wants to scald this. Oh, no, Same. and we just rocks, and, uh, yep. I almost went to Psychic. Um, you choose to, to Psychic slash Gold, the Onyx, and the Lickitung that Crisis is currently playing against, typically. And no turnarounds on Bruno either for Aspect as well. Expected. Yeah, so we didn't mention turnarounds, but uh, once your Pokemon receives a high enough friendship... 133. Oh, that range is going to be rough. Uh, once your Pokemon reaches a high enough friendship, um, it'll kind of turn around and do a little animation. You'll see that on Agatha next. Um, it wastes two seconds every time it happens. Will we see... Will we see, uh, pumps from Aspect? I don't think so. Probably not. I think Crisis should go for pumps. On Agatha. I mean, it would be hype. I'd be totally down to see that. healing to full and starting the Agatha fight this is probably the most scary of the Elite Four fights what? Really? nothing bad happens I, I would say this is the one you probably have the highest what? No. I feel much more scared no, of Lance, Lance, Lance the one it's Lance is this one is scary because uh, turn one crunch is uh, it doesn't happen you have to kind of do like a, a weird strat to get through it but it doesn't happen I've gotten recently. It is terrible. See? That's when you just bring out the two controller and waste time. Perfect. Perfect back at the fight? No. Nope. Just don't crit yeah, defense so, drop. That's yeah, the only bad thing that can happen. There, um, uh, you don't have to heal and you can just go. Uh, I'm repeating myself. 
Turn one punch never happens. <laughs> Yeah, I'm expecting the 2C Lance and Champ for uh, a pretty good look into uh, Pot 2 in the lower bracket. That's what I'm expecting. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Alphax, uh, Starmie turned around and being all happy when you hit a super effective attack. Those are those turnarounds, they waste two seconds every time they happen. Yeah, that is the benefit of two controlling this fight, is that you can set up to a higher... Um, I assume you set up to plus four, I'm not totally sure, but then you can stall things and uh, avoid those turnarounds to kind of negate the time you're spending of two controlling. This guy's pumping. Yup. Easy. Pump Agatha. Come on, Crisis. Pump Agatha. Yeah, so Lance, you start off with one controller for the two C strats. I didn't know it that, so I put in Rap Dash and got wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just did one C strats. <laughs> Pump Agatha. You going for a PB right now? I, I, I'm. A, you might be on PB pace. I'm not sure what Crisis's PB is. I forgot. I believe it was a 309. Yeah. Uh, then Crisis is roughly on around a 310 ish pace. See? Go for the PB! Pump! Pump! You gotta make it up! Unfortunately, um, unless something goes wrong with these 2C safe strats, uh, Aspect will win this race, so. Pump! Agatha! Pump Agatha! Uh, what? Aspect? Why are you bringing it out out? Okay, alright. Because of the Hyper Beam, you could do setups on... The first oh, you do it on the Aerodactyl and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's got Hyper Beam. This looked a little weird. Pump Agatha. Pump Agatha. <laughs> Bring us the content. 138 is a really good special effect. We'll get the Lance range. What'd you say, Gavin? Don't you have to have pretty good special attack to pump Agatha? Oh. Um, does anyone have those those numbers? <laughs> uh, I, I have them in my EV notes somewhere. They would be the same. Uh, you need... Do not, do not recommend going for this. <laughs> no, no, you can pump... You can pump... Weezing and Gengar. You only need 128. Okay. For the, fir for the first Gengar. And the first... And the Weezing. The gold bat, you want, uh... 141, which I don't think... Or you 147. No, you definitely oh, did not have that. Wait, sorry, sorry. Crisis, Crisis wants 131 and 134. Which, okay. Uh, price, price is real for it. Uh, the Gengar, I believe, is a 15 and 16 as well. Oh, the second one? Yeah. Yeah, so just can't do it on, on Gold Hat. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I say go for it. Go for it! You got a PV, this is how you PV! <laughs> What, ha what happens if, if Crisis doesn't pump? I don't like, know. It, it, it's, it's, it's so rough. I, I, I don't know if I would go for it. <laughs> bring in the content! Wait, oh, Paralyze. That's, that's typical. Come on, Power of Love. Oh, yes! Perfect Agatha. Let's go! Perfect Agatha! And going for the Psychics, so... Uh... No, no, you can pump, pump this. You don't want to pump the Arbok. Arbok is not a, is not even close. Yeah, Arbok. I, I don't even think it's like a, a two and six. Yes, let's go. Let's go, Crisis. <laughs> let's go. Yes. 
<laughs> There's one! Christ is going for it. Skipping turnarounds. Okay! About to... Oh, let's go! Don't do not do it on the goal, Matt. No, no, do not do it on the goal. <laughs> do not do it on the goal, Matt. Will Crisis go for the range on the Gengar plus the 80%? Yeah, the, the, the Gengar is, I believe, a 15 and 16, because we are... Uh, what, what level are we at? Yeah, 52. 15 and 16. Okay, whatever. Got two! Let's go, oh, Crisis! Yeah, two. That's fine. Let's go! Yeah, then we get the content. The, uh, crisis one uh, point lower than the uh, threshold. Uh, but over on Aspect screen, uh, Aspect is done. Uh, this is the uh, end of the game. Aspect has locked up uh, the champion fight. Uh, I just need to set up one extra X special here on this Wild Plume, which always goes for Solar Beam for some reason. Let's go! Crisis MVP of the whole tournament so far. Four seconds on Agatha, that's pretty crazy. Imagine having a no. running like that. <laughs> it could in happen. Your, in your live split. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, is doing the 1C, so hopefully this goes well. Yeah, GG's aspect, as long as you don't yeah. pick this wrong move. Do not, uh... And that is game for aspects. This is a, looks like a 305 and change. Yeah, so, uh, we'll actually have a better time than a lot of the people from Upper. So, <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna want aspect <laughs> to pull aspect. Certainly not. This is the aspect we expected in last round. <clears throat> and we will uh, still Chris have to deal with the... Uh, through the setup phase of the... Let's go. Of the Lance fight, so um, just has to hit Psychics here. You know what? Aspect forgot to withdraw the Kanga for the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Okay, this is guaranteed. The Dragon Hello. Hello, congrats. Okay. GG. Congratulations, Aspect. Uh, 305.50. With that early, early game, game was so bad. Yeah, that early game was. I had really to center so off the Misty because at one time I just defaulted to my any percent, like my PB attempts. So I bought the X Defense rather than the Burn Heal. Yeah. And you ended up not using the X-Defense. Uh, yeah. You know, I was never going to use it anyway in a race. Yeah, that's the, not... I only would have used it if, like, Wave went for 2C and I had to, like, push to beat him. That's but Wave got really up unlucky. Yeah. yeah Rock just... Tunnel and Route 17 just uh, didn't didn't help him out. Yeah, just uh, not a lot of good, not a lot of spawns there. Um, your catch route was also a little, uh, a little it awkward. Was, yeah, Rock Tunnel kind of like saved it for me. The red char and Kanga. Yeah. The Kanga spawn and the rare char. See, <laughs> I would have chosen like you know Magmar instead of Kangaskhan, but hey. Well, the Kangaskhan was there. Yeah. <laughs> and I knew it go into my box, so people couldn't complain when I didn't ride it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you could do uh, cat scratch on Pika because it comes with fake out. I I could have, but I already had rapid action the party from the uh, yeah. from the lance, so that, that's fair. Plus, rapid action actually died that time, which is nice. <laughs> the the back half of your run was pretty good. Just the front half was. Uh... And I had to uh, take a, um, a backup because I got timid, yeah. the worst nature oh, yeah. there is. 
Oh, yeah, Starmie you... living on two HP. Seven, actually. Or seven. Still. Hey, Jordan, I kind of just expect uh, you to complain, so. Um, yeah, you and Wade both uh, instantly reset those minus attack because yeah. you have to pick up the resets, <laughs> the backups. I got no glowing Pokemon through Misty. <laughs> and then the Wombo Raticate on Route 10 just sort of caught me right back up. Yeah, the, the Raticate was really good. You gave me five levels on Pika. I know, I just saw all of a sudden Pikachu was 25. After, I'm like, wait, wasn't that? And then I saw, like, didn't Aspect just learn Thunderbolt? And they're like, holy cow. <laughs> Yeah, you had to do queen strats. Yeah, the queen strats actually worked out fine because I was high exp. Uh, my Rhyhorn... My Rhyhorn uh, wasn't 25. Okay, Jordan. Alright. Oh yeah, also the shiny Snorlax, I forgot. Yeah. That was... Yeah, that shiny was Snorlax, that was... That was, was thing I, it came up and I was like, Is that shiny? That looks different. And then the shiny <laughs> animation... They said, like, defense rose. And then the shiny animation played and I'm like, Oh, yep. That'd be it. That is the shiny one. <laughs> Alright. I have I've now been untimed out. <laughs> As I said that John would always complain about something I did. Was there was there any thought to catching the Snorlax? Uh no. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. If if Wave didn't get like ratioed hard by Route 17, then maybe. Because I don't think I'd be able to catch up to him. Yeah, I like, coming out of Tunnel, I was like, this is Wave's race to lose. Ignore yeah, I didn't realize I didn't... how bad Wave's catch route was coming Same. out of Tunnel. I was that's like, oh, I'm... he's way ahead. I, I that's why I said we were in Hideout, and I was like, oh, Wave only has 46 planned. Like, what happened? And then we're starting to go through, and we're like, oh, wow, actually, Tunnel was not kind to Wave. This, this Pika actually ended up decent because it got, like, a million um, special, special attack. attack. It was yeah. ridiculous. For GG Crisis? Yeah, GG. Um, yeah, GG. Hype uh, pumps. A, uh, uh, mid 3010. Oh my or god, I missed three pumps in a row on Naomi. I no, was yes. so upset. That's brutal. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was like, you know what? If this is how it goes, this is how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 31022 uh, for Crisis. GG. Yeah, GG, a new fastest mm -hmm. tournament time. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, GG's uh, Crisis, congrats on the 310. Uh, the run was like, fine. It all started downhill when I had the Pokeball four times the Weedle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was awful. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, Joker was looking up like what are, what are actually is the odds for this? Like it's it very happen. very lucky. And then just a lot of times I've like been shout robbed. Shout out where... to uh, being the I believe the only person to uh, go pumping on uh, Agatha and living and surviving. <laughs> at at that moment, I'll tell you what my mind, what the thought process was. It was just. Uh, two words. It's called fuck it. <laughs> You're going I for the content. Like, going for content, just, exactly. It wasn't even just for content, I was like, I was just, I I wasn't gonna PB with this time, like I was behind at Lorelai and I was like, yeah, there's, like the four seconds does not help at all. But I was like, it would be funny if I actually do hit the pumps. <laughs> and so I decided to go for it. And uh, it turns no, out I don't get punished. Yep. Did you miss a hydro pump at all during the? I run? have not missed a hydro pump this entire run. So whatever, hyd whatever many hydro pumps I went for, uh, I hit all of them. I think I got your misses because I missed three <laughs> times on Naomi. <laughs> yeah, Archer is not kind at all. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was rough. The the paralysis was really rough. The second one, yeah, the second one was just paral thunderbolt paralysis. I was like, oh no. Did you it's get crit the by the first Archer? It's not the worst one I've- it's not the worst archer fight I've had so far. My worst one is still crit, thunderbolt, paralysis, turn one, crit, thunderbolt, turn two. That's the worst Oof. one I've had. Oh. 
but uh, but even Archer won. Uh, just Sludge Bomb plus Poison just killed me, so that was fun. That yeah. well, were you under leveled at that point? Because I was 28. generally twenty eight. You just got no HP or special defense AVs. Oh, that's because fun. generally you can generally you can live that regardless, unless you're minus special defense. Which I know I'm not. I'm at, I was adamant. You were yeah, adamant. that was like a yeah. fun thing. It was like when I saw it, I was so like, yeah, you just got time. really unlucky there. Well, this is well, that's the entire nature of this run, isn't wasn't it? It's like <laughs> I had terrible luck with my early catches. Hit, like the frame perfect attack instead of like catching the Pokemon is like a surprising amount. But hey, shiny gravel is cool. Oh yeah, you got the shiny gravel. You're a shiny gravel. I saw a shiny Snorlax. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sh oh, okay. I'll, I'll say the shiny graveler was like, I needed a graveler, but I saw like something sparkling up there. I forgot what the shiny animation looks like, and it was like, oh, it's sparkling. Oh, it's a graveler. Oh, I need yeah. this. May as well that just catch the shiny one. Oh, no, it's it's like, sunburn. Year ago, where I saw like it was a Rhyhorn, and I was like, oh, like I'll get the glowing one, whatever. It wasn't actually glowing. It was shiny. I just like laughed when it came up. I'm like, how much time am I gonna lose? Cause this is shiny. <laughs> uh, yeah, this run is like it's it, it's fine. Like Archer can go to hell, but aside from that, it's fine. <laughs> like having bad like I wasn't. I don't know how was I expecting a bad Archer. I don't know, but it. It's just, it's just that I never, I didn't, it's like, Archer 1 is like, I had some bad ones, but a lot of the time it's like, it doesn't really end well until, doesn't, but until, but of course the race had to be the, um, the, the time where I have bad Archer 1 and also I have bad Archer 2, so you, you know, that's fun. And also the fact that is that I knew I was never winning this race. Um, no fury, we haven't. I did like, reset for Puppy. It did not occur. You said you wanted. Um, you told me. I said I wouldn't, but I was so low at EXP that I just needed something other than just Jiggly, and then all I got was Jiggly. <laughs> My EXP was so bad. I missed the EV range. Sand attack hit Growlithe. Luckily, it hit the. Uh, it hit the the Gloom, and then it missed the Sandry range. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. That was tragic. Killed the puppy, Yo. and then I was like, well... <laughs> nice crisis. <laughs> Don't mention it. And then, <laughs> then Oddish just missed... Oddish just got sand attacked and missed the, missed uh, the Raticate. Yeah. Yeah, that was like, bad. That route alone lost me over a minute. Your run was bad until Tunnel. Whereas Waves was good until... Tunnel. <laughs> Your waves was good until Tunnel and was bad until Tunnel. He got so many extra catches, I'm so surprised that his catch route got, got ruined by yeah. Tunnel so easily. Yeah, same. Like, That's he had bad. he had Sand, he had Sandry, Mankey, and Chansey, didn't he? Um, not, not Mankey, he only had one of them. I forget which one. Okay. So he had Mankey and, and Chansey. Let's see. Or Sandry and Chansey, one of the two, I forget which. Yeah. The Mankey, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, even on Route 10, it was starting to, did not catch everything you needed, and it kind of went downhill from there. Yeah. Uh, Crisis had the best Route 10. Um, oh yeah, no, my Route 10 my was Route very good. My Route 10 was horrible. No, Crisis is like, first three things were like, the two Nidorans and the Spear Up. <laughs> yeah, my I had Route 10 Radicate, was really good. The only way it could have been better was if I had Krabby as well, but that was like, that would have been overkill. Yeah. My round 10 was Radicate, Radicate, Firo, Krabby. Yup. At least it was, it was, at least it was that glow. At least I had a Wombo <laughs> Radicate there. Yup. Oh. And then I ended up having to catch oh. a Nidorino. Yeah, right, so <laughs> Aspect, uh, moving on to the next round, moving on to... Uh, I believe we talked about this last night. Winners semis or losers semis, lower bracket semifinals. We, yeah, lower bracket semis. I think. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'm just scared that Amber got knocked down to lower. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure Amber's. I'm pretty sure everyone in Pop One is scared of you, Aspect. So. 
Well, I can't wait to not play this game for a year until this tournament gets announced again, and then I start practicing again. <laughs> yeah, I think you put up a very good showing, Crisis, for... Uh... Absolutely. I mean, that was run was pretty good. Uh, three yeah, times was a keep... very good time. You were keeping up with me through uh, Rock Tunnel and High Down. I saw you were, like, right next to me. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to keep up, but uh, I th- but Archer kind of, like, said... Uh, first Archer kind of like said like yeah first yeah, Archer no. gave us yeah yeah that's kind of when you fell behind a bit and kind of couldn't catch up and I then. yeah I couldn't catch up I still had like pokes to catch in Plaking Road I could skip for Grimer but that was like the only like upside because everything I needed in that cycling road just spawned it's like oh okay everything just spawned just catch everything skip Grimer I suppose I saw yeah. literally zero Pokemon in Pokemon Tower the entire time not one yeah did you lore no no, I don't lure. Okay. I don't lure for tower. It's pointless. It does nothing. Yeah. Still, when it's on zero with the lore. <laughs> yeah. I got a really good Koga fight. Yes, you did. Oh, yeah. We we talked about it. Um, I think it was. Uh, I think you I got protect, got protect turn one on from the wheezing. Venomoth. I didn't get protect on the Venomoth. I got protect turn one on the wheezing, and that was it. Yeah. No, it was good. Yeah, perfect fight. And on Caden, you only got protect on the uh, the B drill. Yeah, but I did get Moonblast. Yeah, special that was, attack drop. Kind of rough, but yeah, Christ, you hit through the minimize. Scary. <laughs> it was almost. Yeah, you hit through it. I was like, if I could hit through minimize, I could probably hit more hydro pumps. <laughs> <laughs> That's the logic, right? Accuracy stat. Accuracy stat yeah. was off the charts for your star. I was actually tempted to Hydro Pump the final Gengar, but I was like, I'm already on Psychic. It's a 50 minute <laughs> I, was, I was actually cl- I was actually very close to doing so, but then I said, but then I was like, yeah, I just have Psychic. I'm just on Psychic already. I may as well just Psychic it. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah. Um... There's a lot of ranges I risked. They really shouldn't. Uh, Kangaskhan was 15 and 16. Lapras was actually a 14 and 16. I only set up to plus two. So the, that yeah, was two four. other ranges. Yeah, plus four. I mean, not plus two. Yeah. Uh, I set up to plus almost, six. My Lapras was 11 out of 16. Was kind of tempted to do plus two Pidgeot again, but realizing I have to actually set up to plus six on Jolteon, so didn't do that. Yeah. So no, I said no. But yeah, good race, you two. Um, congrats, aspect. Thank you. And then, uh, yeah, I need. I like to make a collage of this run. That's <laughs> a very collage worthy uh, part. Yeah, definitely. I should employ the services of Dynam. But yeah, we have a. Uh... Two races left in this round, both lower bracket races. Um, so tomorrow at uh, noon Eastern, we have King Charles versus Spider Sea versus Sheep. I think that is a very good run. Um, I think that's going to be have some some close times. Yeah, that one's going to be pretty good. I don't know if Sheep has changed to digital, but regardless, Sheep has of digital, changed to digital. Yes. yes. Um, I think any of those races could win it. Um, and then on Monday. At 6 p.m. Eastern, we have Iron versus Kid Rocker versus Vermilion runs. Um, Vermilion is pretty new, so I think we'll see how Vermilion has done since their last race, but kind of expect this. Uh, Vermilion's been grinding the game uh, lately. They raided me uh, a few nights ago when I was uh, doing race practice, so they've been grinding for uh, a couple nights now, so really excited to see uh, how well they do. Yeah, so maybe they can make it a three-ray race because I think otherwise people will be expecting Iron versus Kid Rocker. Um, but yeah, it's exciting races for the next couple of days. And then we get round four, which will be uh, pretty good races except for the race that I'm in. <laughs> At least between all three races. <laughs> the other two in my race will make it good, but not me. So <laughs> any final words from people? I think I'm all good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just GG to everyone. Yeah, I really unfortunate about how morning. Wave couldn't. Uh...
Yeah. It's been a bit of catch, catch route together, unfortunately. <laughs> Bye. Hey, bye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Archer sucks. <laughs> <laughs>